Let's take a moment to quiet ourselves before we surrender our worries. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, feeling your body relax from head to toe. Imagine tension melting away with each exhale. Now, focus on your natural breath. There's no need to force it, just let it flow freely. As you breathe, feel yourself becoming centered and present. With each inhale, breathe in God's peace and presence. With each exhale, release any anxieties that may be weighing on you. Now, nestled in God's love, let's begin our prayer together. Genesis 21-13-26-2 And I will make a nation of the son of the slave woman also, because he is your offspring. So Abraham rose early in the morning and took bread and a skin of water and gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder along with the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. When the water in the skin was gone, she put the child under one of the bushes. Then she went and sat down opposite him a good way off, about the distance of a bowshot, for she said, Let me not look on the death of the child. And as she sat opposite him, she lifted up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the boy, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What troubles you? Hagar, fear not, for God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Judges 16, 1-21-25 Samson went to Gaza, and there he saw a prostitute, and he went in to her. The Gazets were told, Samson has come here. And they surrounded the place and set an ambush for him all night at the gate of the city. They kept quiet all night, saying, Let us wait till the light of the morning, then we will kill him. But Samson lay till midnight, and at midnight he arose and took hold of the doors of the gate of the city and the two posts, and pulled them up, bar and all, and put them on his shoulders and carried them to the top of the hill that is in front of Hebron. After this he loved a woman in the valley of Sarek, whose name was Delilah. And the lords of the Philistines came up to her and said to her, Seduce him, and see where his great strength lies, and by what means we may overpower him, that we may bind him to humble him. And we will each give you one thousand one hundred pieces of silver. 1 Samuel 1 colon 8 dash 5 colon 3 And Elkanah, her husband, said to her, Hannah, why do you eat? And why do you not eat? And why is your heart sad? Am I not more to you than ten sons? After they had eaten and drunk in Shiloh, Hannah rose. Now Eli the priest was sitting on the seat beside the doorpost of the temple of the Lord. She was deeply distressed and prayed to the Lord and wept bitterly. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your servant and remember me and not forget your servant, but will give to your servant a son, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life, and no razor shall touch his head. As she continued praying before the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. 2 Samuel 8, 1-10, 19 
After this, David defeated the Philistines and subdued them. And David took Methagama out of the hand of the Philistines. And he defeated Moab, and he measured them with a line, making them lie down on the ground. Two lines he measured to be put to death, and one full line to be spared. And the Moabites became servants to David and brought tribute. David also defeated Hadadezer the son of Rehob, king of Zobah, as he went to restore his power at the river Euphrates. And David took from him 1,700 horsemen and 20,000 foot soldiers. And David hamstrung all the chariot horses, but left enough for 100 chariots. And when the Syrians of Damascus came to help Hadadezer king of Zobah, David struck down 22,000 men of the Syrians. 2 Kings 2 23-7-3 He went up from there to Bethel, and while he was going up on the way, some small boys came out of the city and jeered at him, saying, Go up, you bald head. Go up you bald head. And he turned around, and when he saw them, he cursed them in the name of the Lord. And two she-bears came out of the woods and tore forty-two of the boys. From there he went on to Mount Carmel, and from there he returned to Samaria. In the eighteenth year of Jehoshaphat king of Judah, Jehoram the son of Ahab became king over Israel and Samaria, and he reigned twelve years. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, though not like his father and mother, for he put away the pillar of Baal that his father had made. 2 Kings 10 colon 1 dash 13 colon 25 now Ahab had seventy sons in Samaria. So Jehu wrote letters and sent them to Samaria, to the rulers of the city, to the elders, and to the guardians of the sons of Ahab, saying, Now then, as soon as this letter comes to you, seeing your master's sons are with you, and there are with you chariots and horses, fortified cities also, and weapons. Select the best and fittest of your master's sons, and set him on his father's throne, and fight for your master's house. But they were exceedingly afraid, and said, Behold, the two kings could not stand before him. How then can we stand? So he who was over the palace, and he who was over the city, together with the elders and the guardians, sent to Jehu, saying, We are your servants, and we will do all that you tell us. We will not make anyone king. Do whatever is good in your eyes. 1 Chronicles 1 colon 1 dash 4 colon 43 Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tiras. Job 10 colon 13 dash 18 colon 4 Yet these things you hid in your heart, I know that this was your purpose. If I sin, you watch me and do not acquit me of my iniquity. If I am guilty, woe to me. If I am in the right, I cannot lift up my head, for I am filled with disgrace and look on my affliction. And were my head lifted up, you would hunt me like a lion and again work wonders against me. 
you renew your witnesses against me and increase your vexation toward me. You bring fresh troops against me. Psalm 22, 7-28-3 All who see me mock me. They make mouths at me. They wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me from the womb. You made me trust you at my mother's breast. On you was I cast from my birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Psalm 37 colon 9 dash 45 colon 7 For the evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. In just a little while, the wicked will be no more. Though you look carefully at his place, he will not be there. But the meek shall inherit the land and delight themselves in abundant peace. The wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him, but the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is coming. Psalm 46, 1-59-17 To the choir master of the sons of Korah, according to Alamoth, a song God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. Selah, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. Isaiah 21, 8-25-5 Then he who saw cried out, Upon a watchtower I stand, O Lord, continually by day, and at my post I am stationed whole nights. And behold, here come riders, horsemen in pairs. And he answered, Fallen, fallen is Babylon, and all the carved images of her gods he has shattered to the ground. O oh, my threshed and winnowed one, what I have heard from the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I announce to you the oracle concerning Duma. One is calling to me from Seir, Watchman. What time of the night? Watchman, what time of the night? The Watchman says, Morning comes, and also the night. If you will inquire, inquire, come back again. Isaiah 32 colon 14 dash 44 colon 6 For the palace is forsaken, the populous city deserted. The hill and the watchtower will become dens forever, a joy of wild donkeys, a pasture of flocks, until the Spirit is poured upon us from on high, and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field, and the fruitful field is deemed a forest. Then justice will dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness abide in the fruitful field. And the effect of righteousness will be peace, and the result of righteousness, quietness, and trust forever. My people will abide in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and in quiet resting places. Jeremiah 22, 10-29, 10. 
Weep not for him who is dead, nor grieve for him, but weep bitterly for him who goes away, for he shall return no more to see his native land. For thus says the Lord concerning Shalom the son of Josiah, king of Judah, who reigned instead of Josiah his father, and who went away from this place, he shall return here no more, but in the place where they have carried him captive, there shall he die, and he shall never see this land again. Woe to him who builds his house by unrighteousness, and his upper rooms by injustice, who makes his neighbor serve him for nothing and does not give him his wages, who says, I will build myself a great house with spacious upper rooms, who cuts out windows for it, paneling it with cedar and painting it with vermilion. Ezekiel 24,14-28,11 I am the Lord. I have spoken. It shall come to pass. I will do it. I will not go back, I will not spare, I will not relent. According to your ways and your deeds you will be judged, declares the Lord God. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, behold, I am about to take the delight of your eyes away from you at a stroke, yet you shall not mourn or weep, nor shall your tears run down. Sigh, but not aloud. Make no mourning for the dead. Bind on your turban and put your shoes on your feet. Do not cover your lips, nor eat the bread of men. So I spoke to the people in the morning, and at evening my wife died. And on the next morning I did as I was commanded. Zechariah 9 colon 1 dash 14 colon 21 The oracle of the word of the Lord is against the land of Hadrach and Damascus is its resting place. For the Lord has an eye on mankind and on all the tribes of Israel, and on Hamath also, which borders on it, Tyre and Sidon, though they are very wise. Tyre has built herself a rampart, and heaped up silver like dust, and fine gold like the mud of the streets. But behold, the Lord will strip her of her possessions, and strike down her power on the sea, and she shall be devoured by fire. Ashkelon shall see it, and be afraid, Gaza too, and shall writhe in anguish. Ekron also, because its hopes are confounded. The king shall perish from Gaza. Ashkelon shall be uninhabited. Luke 14, 13-18-9 But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the just. When one of those who reclined at table with him heard these things, he said to him, Blessed is everyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. But he said to him, A man once gave a great banquet and invited many. And at the time for the banquet he sent his servant to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is now ready. Luke 20, 35 to 2400 hours 49 But those who are considered worthy to attain to that age and to the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage, for they cannot die any more, because they are equal to angels and are sons of God, being sons of the resurrection. But that the dead are raised, even Moses showed, 
in the passage about the bush where he calls the Lord the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Now he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for all live to him. Then some of the scribes answered, Teacher, you have spoken well. John 11, 44 to 1633 The man who had died came out, his hands and feet bound with linen strips, and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him, and let him go. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what he did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered the council and said, What are we to do? For this man performs many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our place and our nation. 1 Thessalonians 1 verses 5 to 2 Thessalonians 2.11 Because our gospel came to you not only in word, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction. You know what kind of men we proved to be among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for you received the word in much affliction, with the joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For not only has the word of the Lord sounded forth from you in Macedonia and Achaia, but your faith in God has gone forth everywhere, so that we need not say anything. For they themselves report concerning us the kind of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. 1 Peter 1 verses 4 to 2 Peter 3.15 To an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by fire may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory. Revelation 13, 7-17-14 Also it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. And authority was given it over every tribe and people and language and nation, and all who dwell on earth will worship it. Everyone whose name has not been written before the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb who was slain. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. If anyone is to be taken captive, to captivity he goes. If anyone is to be slain with the sword, with the sword must he be slain. Here is a call for the endurance and faith of the saints. Then I saw another beast rising out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, and it spoke like a dragon. Psalm 11, 5-13-6 The Lord tests the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. Let him rain coals on the wicked, 
fire and sulfur and a scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. To the choir master, according to the Sheminah, a psalm of David, Save, O Lord, for the godly one is gone. For the faithful have vanished from among the children of man. Everyone utters lies to his neighbor. With flattering lips and a double heart they speak. Psalm 34, 17-36, 2. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Affliction will slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. Psalm 88, 17-91-5 They surround me like a flood all day long. They close in on me together. You have caused my beloved and my friend to shun me. My companions have become darkness. A masculine of Ethan the Ezraite. I will sing of the steadfast love of the Lord forever. With my mouth I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. For I said, Steadfast love will be built up forever. In the heavens you will establish your faithfulness. You have said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Psalm 112, 7-114-1 He is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steady. He will not be afraid until he looks in triumph on his adversaries. He has distributed freely. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn is exalted in honor. The wicked man sees it and is angry. He gnashes his teeth and melts away. The desire of the wicked will perish. Praise the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Proverbs 18.13-19.23 If one gives an answer before he hears, it is his folly and shame. A man's spirit will endure sickness, but a crushed spirit who can bear? An intelligent heart acquires knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before the great. The one who states his case first seems right, until the other comes and examines him. Isaiah 14, 29-16, Rejoice not, O Philistia, all of you, that the rod that struck you is broken, for from the serpent's root will come forth an adder, and its fruit will be a flying fiery serpent. And the firstborn of the poor will graze, and the needy lie down in safety, but I will kill your root with famine, and your remnant it will slay. Wail, O gate, cry out, O city, melt in fear, O Philistia, all of you. For smoke comes out of the north, and there is no straggler in his ranks. What will one answer the messengers of the nation? The Lord has founded Zion, 
and in her the afflicted of his people find refuge. An oracle concerning Moab. Because Ar of Moab is laid waste in a night, Moab is undone. Because Kair of Moab is laid waste in a night, Moab is undone. Isaiah 28,3-29,13 The proud crown of the drunkards of Ephraim will be trodden underfoot, and the fading flower of its glorious beauty, which is on the head of the rich valley, will be like a first ripe fig before the summer, when someone sees it. He swallows it as soon as it is in his hand. In that day the Lord of hosts will be a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people and a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment and strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. These also reel with wine and stagger with strong drink. The priest and the prophet reel with strong drink. They are swallowed by wine. They stagger with strong drink. They reel in vision. They stumble in giving judgment. Jeremiah 2, 7-5, 27 And I brought you into a plentiful land to enjoy its fruits and its good things. But when you came in, you defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. The priests did not say, Where is the Lord? Those who handled the law did not know me. The shepherds transgressed against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after things that do not profit. Therefore I still contend with you, declares the Lord and with your children's children I will contend. For cross to the coasts of Cyprus and see, or send to Kedar and examine with care, see if there has been such a thing. Has a nation changed its gods, even though they are no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit. Daniel 2.44-4.35 And in the days of those kings the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed, nor shall the kingdom be left to another people. It shall break in pieces all these kingdoms and bring them to an end, and it shall stand forever, just as you saw that a stone was cut from a mountain by no human hand and that it broke in pieces the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver, and the gold. A great God has made known to the king what shall be after this. The dream is certain, and its interpretation sure. Then King Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and paid homage to Daniel, and commanded that an offering and incense be offered up to him. The king answered and said to Daniel, Truly, your God is God of gods and Lord of kings, and a revealer of mysteries, for you have been able to reveal this mystery. Then the king gave Daniel high honors and many great gifts, and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon and chief prefect over all the wise men of Babylon. Amos 2 colon 1 dash 3 colon 15 Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Moab, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because he burned to lime the bones of the king of Edom. So I will send a fire upon Moab, and it shall devour the strongholds of Kerioth, and Moab shall die amid uproar amid shouting and the sound of the trumpet. I will cut off the ruler from its midst, and will kill all its princes with him, 
says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Judah, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they have rejected the law of the Lord, and have not kept his statutes, but their lies have led them astray, those after which their fathers walked. So I will send a fire upon Judah, and it shall devour the strongholds of Jerusalem. Amos 6, 2 8. Pass over to Kalna and see, and from there go to Hamath the Great, then go down to Gath of the Philistines. Are you better than these kingdoms? Or is their territory greater than your territory? O oh, you who put far away the day of disaster and bring near the seed of violence? Woe to those who lie on beds of ivory and stretch themselves out on their couches and eat lambs from the flock and calves from the midst of the stall, who sing idle songs to the sound of the harp and like David invent for themselves instruments of music, who drink wine in bowls and anoint themselves with the finest oils, but are not grieved over the ruin of Joseph. Micah 2 colon 1 dash 7 colon 3 Woe to those who devise wickedness and work evil on their beds. When the morning dawns, they perform it, because it is in the power of their hand. They covet fields and seize them, and houses, and take them away. They oppress a man and his house, a man and his inheritance. Therefore thus says the Lord, Behold, against this family I am devising disaster, from which you cannot remove your necks, and you shall not walk haughtily, for it will be a time of disaster. In that day they shall take up a taunt song against you and moan bitterly, and say, We are utterly ruined. He changes the portion of my people how he removes it from me. To an apostate he allots our fields. Therefore you will have none to cast the line by lot in the assembly of the Lord. Malachi 2.16-3.15 For the man who does not love his wife but divorces her, says the Lord, the God of Israel, covers his garment with violence, says the Lord of hosts. So guard yourselves in your spirit, and do not be faithless. You have wearied the Lord with your words. But you say, how have we wearied him? By saying, everyone who does evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delights in them. Or by asking, where is the God of justice? Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, and the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi and refine them like gold and silver, and they will bring offerings in righteousness to the Lord. Matthew 10, 8 -11 -17. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. You received without paying, give without pay. Acquire no gold or silver or copper for your belts, no bag for your journey, or two tunics or sandals or a staff, for the laborer deserves his food. 
And whatever town or village you enter, find out who is worthy in it and stay there until you depart. As you enter the house, greet it. Mark 10, 29 to 12, 39. Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel who will not receive a hundredfold now in this time. Houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. And they were on the road, going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. And they were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. And taking the twelve again, he began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him over to the Gentiles. John 2,9-4,48 When the master of the feast tasted the water now become wine, and did not know where it came from, Though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first. And when people have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Cana in Galilee, and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After this he went down to Capernaum with his mother and his brothers and his disciples, and they stayed there for a few days. The Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. 1 Corinthians 1 18 to 4 12 For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since, in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom, it pleased God through the folly of what we preach to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks seek wisdom. 1 Timothy 1 colon 4 dash 4 colon 2. Nor to devote themselves to myths and endless genealogies, which promote speculations rather than the stewardship from God that is by faith. The aim of our charge is love that issues from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith. Certain persons, by swerving from these, have wandered away into vain discussion desiring to be teachers of the law, without understanding either what they are saying or the things about which they make confident assertions. Now we know that the law is good, if one uses it lawfully. Leviticus 24 verses 16 to 22 Whoever blasphemes the name of the Lord shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him. The sojourner as well as the native, when he blasphemes the name, shall be put to death. 
Whoever takes a human life shall surely be put to death. Whoever takes an animal's life shall make it good, life for life. If anyone injures his neighbor, as he has done it shall be done to him. Fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Whatever injury he has given a person shall be given to him. Leviticus 26 verses 11 to 44 I will make my dwelling among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. And I will walk among you and will be your God, and you shall be my people. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that you should not be their slaves. And I have broken the bars of your yoke and made you walk erect. But if you will not listen to me and will not do all these commandments, if you spurn my statutes, and if your soul abhors my rules, so that you will not do all my commandments, but break my covenant. Numbers 1,3-24 From twenty years old and upward, all in Israel who are able to go to war, you and Aaron shall list them, company by company. And there shall be with you a man from each tribe, each man being the head of the house of his fathers. And these are the names of the men who shall assist you. From Reuben, Elizer the son of Shadur, from Simeon, Shalumiel the son of Zurashadai, from Judah, Nashan the son of Ammonadab. Deuteronomy 30 verses 9 to 19. The Lord your God will make you abundantly prosperous in all the work of your hand, in the fruit of your womb and in the fruit of your cattle and in the fruit of your ground. For the Lord will again take delight in prospering you, as he took delight in your fathers, when you obey the voice of the Lord your God, to keep his commandments and his statutes that are written in this book of the law. When you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, for this commandment that I command you today is not too hard for you. Neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that you should say, Who will ascend to heaven for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who will go over the sea for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it? Joshua 6 verses 1 to 27. Now Jericho was shut up inside and outside because of the people of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand, with its king and mighty men of valor. You shall march around the city, all the men of war going around the city once. Thus shall you do for six days. Seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. On the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. And when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, when you hear the sound of the trumpet, then all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down flat, and the people shall go up, everyone straight before him. Joshua 8, 24 to 9, 19. When Israel had finished killing all the inhabitants of Ai in the open wilderness where they pursued them, and all of them to the very last had fallen by the edge of the sword, all Israel returned to Ai and struck it down with the edge of the sword. And all who fell that day, 
both men and women were 12,000, all the people of Ai. But Joshua did not draw back his hand with which he stretched out the javelin until he had devoted all the inhabitants of Ai to destruction. Only the livestock and the spoil of that city Israel took as their plunder, according to the word of the Lord that he commanded Joshua. So Joshua burned Ai and made it forever a heap of ruins, as it is to this day. Joshua 15 verses 11 to 47. The boundary goes out to the shoulder of the hill north of Ekron. Then the boundary bends around to Shikarin and passes along to Mount Bala and goes out to Jabneo. Then the boundary comes to an end at the sea. And the west boundary was the great sea with its coastline. This is the boundary around the people of Judah according to their clans. According to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, he gave to Caleb the son of Jephunneh a portion among the people of Judah, Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron. Arba was the father of Anak. And Caleb drove out from there the three sons of Anak, Sheshai and Ahimin and Talmai, the descendants of Anak. And he went up from there against the inhabitants of Debir. Now the name of Debir formerly was Kiriath Sefer. Joshua 21 43 to 2400 hours 15. Thus the Lord gave to Israel all the land that he swore to give to their fathers. And they took possession of it, and they settled there. And the Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their fathers. Not one of all their enemies had withstood them, for the Lord had given all their enemies into their hands. Not one word of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed. All came to pass. At that time Joshua summoned the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and said to them, You have kept all that Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, and have obeyed my voice in all that I have commanded you. Judges 1 verses 18 to 35. Judah also captured Gaza with its territory, and Ashkelon with its territory, and Ekron with its territory. And the Lord was with Judah, and he took possession of the hill country, but he could not drive out the inhabitants of the plain because they had chariots of iron. And Hebron was given to Caleb, as Moses had said. And he drove out from it the three sons of Anak. But the people of Benjamin did not drive out the Jebusites who lived in Jerusalem. So the Jebusites have lived with the people of Benjamin in Jerusalem to this day. The house of Joseph also went up against Bethel, and the Lord was with them. Judges 6, 37 to 8, 27. Behold, I am laying a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece alone, and it is dry on all the ground, then I shall know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said. And it was so. When he rose early next morning and squeezed the fleece, he wrung enough dew from the fleece to fill a bowl with water. Then Gideon said to God, Let not your anger burn against me. Let me speak just once more. Please let me test just once more with the fleece. Please let it be dry on the fleece only, and on all the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night. And it was dry on the fleece only, and on all the ground there was dew. Then Jerubal, that is, Gideon, 
And all the people who were with him rose early and encamped beside the spring of Herod. And the camp of Midian was north of them by the hill of Moor in the valley. 1 Samuel 26 verses 9 to 23 But David said to Abishai, Do not destroy him, for who can put out his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? And David said, As the Lord lives, the Lord will strike him, or his day will come to die, or he will go down into battle and perish. The Lord forbid that I should put out my hand against the Lord's anointed. But take now the spear that is at his head and the jar of water, and let us go. So David took the spear and the jar of water from Saul's head, and they went away. No man saw it or knew it, nor did any awake, for they were all asleep, because a deep sleep from the Lord had fallen upon them. Then David went over to the other side and stood far off on the top of the hill, with a great space between them. 1 Kings 1 colon 4 dash 3 colon 11 the young woman was very beautiful, and she was of service to the king and attended to him, but the king knew her not. Now Adonijah the son of Haggith exalted himself, saying, I will be king. And he prepared for himself chariots and horsemen, and fifty men to run before him. His father had never at any time displeased him by asking, Why have you done thus and so? He was also a very handsome man, and he was born next after Absalom. He conferred with Joab the son of Zeruiah and with Abiathar the priest. And they followed Adonijah and helped him. But Zadok the priest, and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and Nathan the prophet, and Shimei, and Ray, and David's mighty men, were not with Adonijah. 1 Kings 4.24-5.15 For he had dominion over all the region west of the Euphrates from Tifsa to Gaza, over all the kings west of the Euphrates. And he had peace on all sides around him. And Judah and Israel lived in safety, from Dan even to Beersheba, every man under his vine and under his fig tree, all the days of Solomon. Solomon also had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots and 12,000 horsemen. And those officers supplied provisions for King Solomon and for all who came to King Solomon's table, each one in his month. They let nothing be lacking. Barley also and straw for the horses and swift steeds they brought to the place where it was required, each according to his duty. 1 Kings 18 verses 8 to 21 And he answered him, It is I. Go, tell your Lord, behold, Elijah is here. And he said, How have I sinned that you would give your servant into the hand of Ahab to kill me? As the Lord your God lives, there is no nation or kingdom where my Lord has not sent to seek you. And when they would say, He is not here, he would take an oath of the kingdom or nation that they had not found you. And now you say, Go, tell your Lord, behold, Elijah is here. And as soon as I have gone from you, the Spirit of the Lord will carry you I know not where. And so, when I come and tell Ahab, and he cannot find you, he will kill me, although I your servant have feared the Lord from my youth. 2 
2 Kings 17 colon 9 dash 20 colon 16. And the people of Israel did secretly against the Lord their God things that were not right. They built for themselves high places in all their towns, from watchtower to fortified city. They set up for themselves pillars and ashram on every high hill and under every green tree. And there they made offerings on all the high places, as the nations did whom the Lord carried away before them. And they did wicked things, provoking the Lord to anger, and they served idols, of which the Lord had said to them, You shall not do this. Yet the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and every seer, saying, Turn from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes in accordance with all the law that I commanded your fathers and that I sent to you by my servants the prophets. 2 Chronicles 18 colon 7 dash 19 colon 3 And the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man by whom we may inquire of the Lord, Micaiah the son of Imra, but I hate him, for he never prophesies good concerning me, but always evil. And Jehoshaphat said, Let not the king say so. Then the king of Israel summoned an officer and said, Bring quickly Micaiah the son of Imla. Now the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat the king of Judah were sitting on their thrones, arrayed in their robes. And they were sitting at the threshing floor at the entrance of the gate of Samaria, and all the prophets were prophesying before them. And Zedekiah the son of Shanana made for himself horns of iron, and said, Thus says the Lord, With these you shall push the Syrians until they are destroyed. And all the prophets prophesied so, and said, Go up to Ramoth Gilead and triumph. The Lord will give it into the hand of the king. Psalm 69 verses 4 to 35 More in number than the hairs of my head are those who hate me without cause. Mighty are those who would destroy me, those who attack me with lies. What I did not steal must I now restore. O oh God, you know my folly. The wrongs I have done are not hidden from you. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, O Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be brought to dishonor through me, O God of Israel. For it is for your sake that I have borne reproach, that dishonor has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my mother's sons. Proverbs 14 verses 9 to 34 Fools mock at the guilt offering, but the upright enjoy acceptance. The heart knows its own bitterness, and no stranger shares its joy. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the upright will flourish. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. Even in laughter the heart may ache, and the end of joy may be grief. Proverbs 20 verses 14 to 30 Bad, bad, says the buyer, but when he goes away, then he boasts. There is gold and abundance of costly stones, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Take a man's garment when he has put up security for a stranger, and hold it in pledge when he puts up security for foreigners. Bread gained by deceit is sweet to a man, but afterward his mouth will be full of gravel. Plans are established by counsel, 
by wise guidance wage war. Jeremiah 8 verses 10 to 22. Therefore I will give their wives to others and their fields to conquerors, because from the least to the greatest everyone is greedy for unjust gain. From prophet to priest, everyone deals falsely. They have healed the wound of my people lightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they committed abomination? No, they were not at all ashamed. They did not know how to blush. Therefore they shall fall among the fallen. When I punish them, they shall be overthrown, says the Lord. When I would gather them, declares the Lord, there are no grapes on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree. Even the leaves are withered, and what I gave them has passed away from them. Why do we sit still? Gather together. Let us go into the fortified cities and perish there. For the Lord our God has doomed us to perish and has given us poisoned water to drink because we have sinned against the Lord. Ezekiel 3 verses 9 to 27 Like emery harder than flint have I made your forehead. Fear them not, nor be dismayed at their looks, for they are a rebellious house. Moreover, he said to me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak to you receive in your heart and hear with your ears, and go to the exiles, to your people, and speak to them and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, whether they hear or refuse to hear. Then the Spirit lifted me up, and I heard behind me the voice of a great earthquake. Blessed be the glory of the Lord from its place. It was the sound of the wings of the living creatures as they touched one another, and the sound of the wheels beside them, and the sound of a great earthquake. Zechariah 2 verses 1 to 13. And I lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. Then I said, Where are you going? And he said to me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is its width and what is its length. And behold, the angel who talked with me came forward, and another angel came forward to meet him and said to him, Run, say to that young man, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as villages without walls because of the multitude of people and livestock in it. And I will be to her a wall of fire all around, declares the Lord, and I will be the glory in her midst. Acts 5 verses 1 4 to 33. While it remained unsold, did it not remain your own? And after it was sold, was it not at your disposal? Why is it that you have contrived this deed in your heart? You have not lied to man, but to God. When Ananias heard these words, he fell down and breathed his last. And great fear came upon all who heard of it. The young men rose and wrapped him up and carried him out and buried him. After an interval of about three hours, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. And Peter said to her, Tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, Yes, for so much. Revelation 2.14 to 3.12 But I have a few things against you. You have some there who hold the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the sons of Israel, 
so that they might eat food sacrificed to idols and practice sexual immorality. So also you have some who hold the teaching of the Nicolaitans. Therefore repent. If not, I will come to you soon and war against them with the sword of my mouth. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who conquers I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, with a new name written on the stone that no one knows except the one who receives it. And to the angel of the church in Thyatira write, The words of the Son of God, who has eyes like a flame of fire, and whose feet are like burnished bronze. Judges 5 verse 8 When new gods were chosen, then war was in the gates. Was shield or spear to be seen among 40,000 in Israel? 2 Samuel 19 verse 6 Because you love those who hate you and hate those who love you. For you have made it clear today that commanders and servants are nothing to you. For today I know that if Absalom were alive and all of us were dead today, then you would be pleased. Psalm 10 verses 4 to 14 In the pride of his face the wicked does not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. His ways prosper at all times. Your judgments are on high, out of his sight. As for all his foes, he puffs at them. He says in his heart, I shall not be moved. Throughout all generations, I shall not meet adversity. His mouth is filled with cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He sits in ambush in the villages. In hiding places, he murders the innocent. His eyes stealthily watch for the helpless. Proverbs 10 verses 22 to 25. The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Doing wrong is like a joke to a fool, but wisdom is pleasure to a man of understanding. What the wicked dreads will come upon him, but the desire of the righteous will be granted. When the tempest passes, the wicked is no more, but the righteous is established forever. Ezekiel 16 verses 27 to 50. Behold, therefore, I stretched out my hand against you and diminished your allotted portion and delivered you to the greed of your enemies, the daughters of the Philistines, who were ashamed of your lewd behavior. You played the whore also with the Assyrians because you were not satisfied. Yes, you played the whore with them and still you were not satisfied. You multiplied your whoring also with the trading land of Chaldea, and even with this you were not satisfied. How sick is your heart, declares the Lord God, because you did all these things, the deeds of a brazen prostitute, building your vaulted chamber at the head of every street, and making your lofty place in every square. Yet you were not like a prostitute, because you scorned payment. Hosea 13 verses 1 to 16 When Ephraim spoke, there was trembling. He was exalted in Israel, but he incurred guilt through Baal and died. And now they sin more and more, and make for themselves metal images, idols skillfully made of their silver, all of them the work of craftsmen. It is said of them, those who offer human sacrifice kiss calves. 
Therefore they shall be like the morning mist, or like the dew that goes early away, like the chaff that swirls from the threshing floor, or like smoke from a window. But I am the Lord your God from the land of Egypt. You know no God but me, and besides me there is no Savior. It was I who knew you in the wilderness, in the land of drought. Mark 15 verse 15 So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. John 12 verse 6 He said this, not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief, and having charge of the money bag he used to help himself to what was put into it. Acts 8 verses 1 to 40 And Saul approved of his execution. And there arose on that day a great persecution against the church in Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made great lamentation over him. But Saul was ravaging the church, and entering house after house, he dragged off men and women and committed them to prison. Now those who were scattered went about preaching the word. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed to them the Christ. 2 Chronicles 28 verse 18 And the Philistines had made raids on the cities in the Shephila and the Negev of Judah, and had taken Beth Shemesh, Ijalin, Gedaroth, Soko with its villages, Timnah with its villages, and Gimzo with its villages. And they settled there. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Exodus 20 verse 13 You shall not murder. 1 Chronicles 21 verse 1 Then Satan stood against Israel and incited David to number Israel. 2 Chronicles 21 verses 16 to 17 And the Lord stirred up against Jehoram the anger of the Philistines and of the Arabians who are near the Ethiopians. And they came up against Judah and invaded it and carried away all the possessions they found that belonged to the king's house, and also his sons and his wives, so that no son was left to him except Jehoahaz, his youngest son. Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19 There are six things that the Lord hates. Seven that are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. Jeremiah 6 verse 4 Prepare war against her. Arise, and let us attack at noon. Woe to us, for the day declines, for the shadows of evening lengthen. Jeremiah 15 verse 8 I have made their widows more in number than the sand of the seas. I have brought against the mothers of young men a destroyer at noonday. I have made anguish and terror fall upon them suddenly. 
Joel 3 verses 1 to 21. For behold, in those days and at that time, when I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all the nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will enter into judgment with them there on behalf of my people and my heritage Israel, because they have scattered them among the nations and have divided up my land and have cast lots for my people and have traded a boy for a prostitute and have sold a girl for wine and have drunk it. What are you to me? O Tyre and Sidon and all the regions of Philistia, are you paying me back for something? If you are paying me back, I will return your payment on your own head swiftly and speedily. For you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried my rich treasures into your temples. Zephaniah 2 verses 1 to 15 Gather together, yes, gather, O shameless nation, before the decree takes effect, before the day passes away like chaff, before there comes upon you the burning anger of the Lord, before there comes upon you the day of the anger of the Lord. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the land, who do his just commands. Seek righteousness, seek humility. Perhaps you may be hidden on the day of the anger of the Lord. For Gaza shall be deserted, and Ashkelon shall become a desolation. Ashdod's people shall be driven out at noon, and Ekron shall be uprooted. Woe to you inhabitants of the Sikos, you nation of the Cherethites. The word of the Lord is against you, O Canaan, land of the Philistines, and I will destroy you until no inhabitant is left. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Daniel 12 verse 10 Many shall purify themselves and make themselves white and be refined, but the wicked shall act wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but those who are wise shall understand. Second Chronicles 26 verse 6 He went out and made war against the Philistines and broke through the wall of Gath and the wall of Jabna and the wall of Ashdod. And he built cities in the territory of Ashdod and elsewhere among the Philistines. Deuteronomy 2 verse 23 As for the Avon, who lived in villages as far as Gaza, the Kaphtarim, who came from Kaphtar, destroyed them and settled in their place. Jeremiah 47 verses 1 to 7 The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the Philistines before Pharaoh struck down Gaza. Thus says the Lord, Behold, waters are rising out of the north and shall become an overflowing torrent. They shall overflow the land and all that fills it, the city and those who dwell in it. Men shall cry out, and every inhabitant of the land shall wail. At the noise of the stamping of the hoofs of his stallions, at the rushing of his chariots, at the rumbling of their wheels. The fathers look not back to their children, so feeble are their hands, because of the day that is coming to destroy all the Philistines, to cut off from Tyre and Sidon every helper that remains. 
For the Lord is destroying the Philistines, the remnant of the coastland of Kaftor. Baldness has come upon Gaza, Ashkelon has perished. O oh, remnant of their valley, how long will you gash yourselves? Amos 1 verses 1 to 15 The words of Amos, who was among the shepherds of Tycho, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Isaiah king of Judah and in the days of Jeroboam the son of Josh, king of Israel, two years before the earthquake. And he said, The Lord roars from Zion and utters his voice from Jerusalem. The pastures of the shepherds mourn and the top of Carmel withers. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Damascus, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they have threshed Gilead with threshing sledges of iron. So I will send a fire upon the house of Hazel, and it shall devour the strongholds of ben -Hadad. I will break the gate bar of Damascus, and cut off the inhabitants from the valley of Avon, and him who holds the scepter from Beth Eden, and the people of Syria shall go into exile to Kair, says the Lord. Zechariah 9 verses 1 to 17. The oracle of the word of the Lord is against the land of Hadrach, and Damascus is its resting place. For the Lord has an eye on mankind and on all the tribes of Israel, and on Hamath also, which borders on it, Tyre and Sidon, though they are very wise. Tyre has built herself a rampart, and heaped up silver like dust, and fine gold like the mud of the streets. But behold, the Lord will strip her of her possessions and strike down her power on the sea, and she shall be devoured by fire. Ashkelon shall see it and be afraid, Gaza too, and shall writhe in anguish, Ekron also, because its hopes are confounded. The king shall perish from Gaza, Ashkelon shall be uninhabited. 2 Kings 18 verse 8 He struck down the Philistines as far as Gaza and its territory, from watchtower to fortified city. Joshua 13 verse 3 From the Shear, which is east of Egypt, northward to the boundary of Ekron, it is counted as Canaanite. There are five rulers of the Philistines, those of Gaza, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Gath, and Ekron, and those of the Avon. Joshua 10 verse 41 And Joshua struck them from Kadesh Barnea as far as Gaza, and all the country of Goshen as far as Gibeon. Joshua 11 verse 22 There was none of the Anakim left in the land of the people of Israel. Only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod did some remain. 1 Samuel 6 verse 17 These are the golden tumors that the Philistines returned as a guilt offering to the Lord one for Ashdod, one for Gaza, one for Ashkelon, one for Gath, one for Ekron. Isaiah 17 verses 1 to 14 An oracle concerning Damascus. Behold, Damascus will cease to be a city and will become a heap of ruins. The cities of Aror are deserted. They will be for flocks, which will lie down, and none will make them afraid. 
The fortress will disappear from Ephraim, and the kingdom from Damascus, and the remnant of Syria will be like the glory of the children of Israel, declares the Lord of hosts. And in that day the glory of Jacob will be brought low, and the fat of his flesh will grow lean. And it shall be as when the reaper gathers standing grain, and his arm harvests the ears, and as when one gleans the ears of grain in the valley of Rephaim. 1 Chronicles 7 verse 28 their possessions and settlements were Bethel and its towns, and to the east Naren, and to the west Gezer and its towns, Shechem and its towns, and Aya and its towns. Judges 6 verse 4 They would encamp against them and devour the produce of the land, as far as Gaza, and leave no sustenance in Israel, and no sheep, or ox, or donkey. Genesis 10 verse 19 And the territory of the Canaanites extended from Sidon in the direction of Gerar as far as Gaza, and in the direction of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboim as far as Lasha. Jeremiah 25 verse 20 And all the mixed tribes among them, all the kings of the land of Uzi, and all the kings of the land of the Philistines, Ashkelon, Gaza, Ekron, and the remnant of Ashdod. 1 Timothy 2 verse 12 I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. Galatians 3 verse 28 There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Colossians 3 verse 18 Wives, submit to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Ephesians 5 verses 22 to 33 Wives, submit to your own husbands, as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives, as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5 A woman shall not wear a man's garment, nor shall a man put on a woman's cloak, for whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord your God. Genesis 1 verse 27 So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. Genesis 3 verse 16 To the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be contrary to your husband, but he shall rule over you. Genesis 2 verse 18 Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. 
Acts 18 verse 26. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 12 For as woman was made from man, so man is now born of woman, and all things are from God. Judges 4 verse 4 Now Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, was judging Israel at that time. Luke 10 verses 38 to 42. Now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. Mark 10 verses 42 to 45. And Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know that those who are considered rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant and whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Ephesians 5 verse 21 Submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. Psalm 68 verse 11 The Lord gives the word. The women who announce the news are a great host. Acts 2 verse 17 And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. 1 Peter 3 verses 1 to 22 Likewise, wives, be subject to your own husbands, so that even if some do not obey the word, they may be won without a word by the conduct of their wives when they see your respectful and pure conduct. Do not let your adorning be external the braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry, or the clothing you wear, but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. For this is how the holy women who hoped in God used to adorn themselves, by submitting to their own husbands. 1 Corinthians 14 verses 34 to 35 The women should keep silent in the churches, for they are not permitted to speak, but should be in submission, as the law also says. If there is anything they desire to learn, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is shameful for a woman to speak in church. Genesis 2 verses 1 to 25 Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, 
and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God finished his work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it God rested from all his work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created, in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. When no bush of the field was yet in the land, and no small plant of the field had yet sprung up for the Lord God, had not caused it to rain on the land, and there was no man to work the ground. Micah 6 verse 4 For I brought you up from the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of slavery. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. First Chronicles 7 verse 24 His daughter was Shira, who built both Lower and Upper Beth Haran and Azan Shira. Colossians 3 verses 1 to 25 If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. 1 Corinthians 11 verses 1 to 34 Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. Now I commend you because you remember me in everything and maintain the traditions even as I delivered them to you. But I want you to understand that the head of every man is Christ. The head of a wife is her husband, and the head of Christ is God. Every man who prays or prophesies with his head covered dishonors his head. But every wife who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head, since it is the same as if her head were shaven. Ephesians 5 verses 1 to 33 Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But sexual immorality and all impurity or covetousness must not even be named among you, as is proper among saints. Let there be no filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking, which are out of place. But instead let there be thanksgiving. For you may be sure of this, that everyone who is sexually immoral or impure, or who is covetous, that is, an idolater, has no inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Mark 16 verses 9 to 11. Now when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him, as they mourned and wept. But when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they would not believe it. Proverbs 31 verses 1 to 31 The words of King Lemuel An oracle that his mother taught him What are you doing, my son? What are you doing, son of my womb? What are you doing, son of my vows? 
Do not give your strength to women, your ways to those who destroy kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, or for rulers to take strong drink, lest they drink and forget what has been decreed and pervert the rights of all the afflicted. Genesis 3 verses 1 to 24 Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God actually say, You shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Acts 16 verses 13 to 15 And on the Sabbath day we went outside the gate to the riverside, where we supposed there was a place of prayer, and we sat down and spoke to the women who had come together. One who heard us was a woman named Lydia, from the city of Thyatira, a seller of purple goods, who was a worshiper of God. The Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by Paul. And after she was baptized, and her household as well, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. And she prevailed upon us. 1 Corinthians 14 verses 1 to 40 Pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. For one who speaks in a tongue speaks not to men but to God. For no one understands him, but he utters mysteries in the Spirit. On the other hand, the one who prophesies speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. The one who speaks in a tongue builds up himself, but the one who prophesies builds up the church. Now I want you all to speak in tongues, but even more to prophesy. The one who prophesies is greater than the one who speaks in tongues, unless someone interprets so that the church may be built up. Judges 5 verses 24 to 27 Most blessed of women be Jael, the wife of Heber the Kenite, of tent-dwelling women most blessed. He asked for water, and she gave him milk. She brought him curds and a noble's bowl. She sent her hand to the tent peg, and her right hand to the workman's mallet. She struck Sisera. She crushed his head. She shattered and pierced his temple. Between her feet he sank. He fell. He lay still. Between her feet he sank. He fell. Where he sank, there he fell dead. Genesis 4 verse 7 If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is contrary to you, but you must rule over it. 2 Kings 22 verse 14 So Hilkiah the priest and Ahikam and Achbor, and Shaphan, and Asiah went to Huldah the prophetess, the wife of Shalom the son of Tikvah, son of Harhaz. 
keeper of the wardrobe. Now she lived in Jerusalem in the second quarter, and they talked with her. 1 Timothy 2 colon 1 dash 5 colon 25 First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Job 42 verse 15 And in all the land there were no women so beautiful as Job's daughters, and their father gave them an inheritance among their brothers. Romans 16 verses 1 to 27 I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a servant of the church at Sancreae, that you may welcome her in the Lord in a way worthy of the saints, and help her in whatever she may need from you, for she has been a patron of many and of myself as well. Greet Prisca and Aquila my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risked their necks for my life, to whom not only I give thanks, but all the churches of the Gentiles give thanks as well. Greet also the church in their house. Greet my beloved Epinetus, who was the first convert to Christ in Asia. Judges 9 verses 52 to 53 And Abimelech came to the tower and fought against it and drew near to the door of the tower to burn it with fire. And a certain woman threw an upper millstone on Abimelech's head and crushed his skull. Matthew 19 verses 1 to 30 now when Jesus had finished these sayings, he went away from Galilee and entered the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. And large crowds followed him, and he healed them there. And Pharisees came up to him and tested him by asking, Is it lawful to divorce one's wife for any cause? He answered, have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female, and said, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh? Matthew 27 verse 55 There were also many women there, looking on from a distance, who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him. 2 Peter 3 verses 1 to 18 This is now the second letter that I am writing to you, beloved. In both of them I am stirring up your sincere mind by way of reminder that you should remember the predictions of the holy prophets and the commandment of the Lord and Savior through your apostles, knowing this first of all, that scoffers will come in the last days with scoffing, following their own sinful desires. They will say, Where is the promise of his coming? For ever since the fathers fell asleep, all things are continuing as they were from the beginning of creation. For they deliberately overlooked this fact, that the heavens existed long ago, and the earth was formed out of water and through water by the word of God. Proverbs 14 verses 1 to 35 
The wisest of women builds her house, but folly with her own hands tears it down. Whoever walks in uprightness fears the Lord, but he who is devious in his ways despises him. By the mouth of a fool comes a rod for his back, but the lips of the wise will preserve them. Where there are no oxen, the manger is clean, but abundant crops come by the strength of the ox. A faithful witness does not lie, but a false witness breathes out lies. Luke 8 verses 1 to 56 Soon afterward he went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him, and also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's household manager, and Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their means. And when a great crowd was gathering and people from town after town came to him, he said in a parable, a sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell along the path and was trampled underfoot, and the birds of the air devoured it. Amos 1 verse 13 Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of the Ammonites, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they have ripped open pregnant women in Gilead, that they might enlarge their border. First Chronicles 4 verse 10 Jabez called upon the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my border, and that your hand might be with me, and that you would keep me from harm so that it might not bring me pain. And God granted what he asked. Mark 9 verse 35 And he sat down and called the twelve. And he said to them, If anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. Deuteronomy 32 verses 1 to 52 Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. May my teaching drop as the rain, my speech distill as the dew, like gentle rain upon the tender grass and like showers upon the earth. For I will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. The rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are justice. A God of faithfulness and without iniquity, just and upright is he. They have dealt corruptly with him. They are no longer his children because they are blemished. They are a crooked and twisted generation. Isaiah 3 colon 1 dash 5 colon 30 For behold, the Lord God of hosts is taking away from Jerusalem and from Judah support and supply, all support of bread and all support of water, the mighty man and the soldier, the judge and the prophet, the diviner and the elder, the captain of fifty and the man of rank, the counselor and the skillful magician and the expert in charms. And I will make boys their princes, and infants shall rule over them. And the people will oppress one another, every one his fellow and every one his neighbor. The youth will be insolent to the elder, and the despised to the honorable. 
Psalm 68 verses 1 to 35 to the choir master a psalm of David a song God shall arise his enemies shall be scattered and those who hate him shall flee before him as smoke is driven away so you shall drive them away as wax melts before fire so the wicked shall perish before God but the righteous shall be glad they shall exult before God they shall be jubilant with joy sing to God sing praises to his name lift up a song to him who rides through the deserts his name is the Lord exult before him father of the fatherless and protector of widows is God in his holy habitation Deuteronomy 33 verse 7 and this he said of Judah hear O Lord the voice of Judah and bring him into his people with your hands contend for him and be a help against his adversaries Titus 1 colon 1 3 colon 15 Paul a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ for the sake of the faith of God's elect and their knowledge of the truth which accords with godliness in hope of eternal life which God who never lies promised before the ages began and at the proper time manifested in his word through the preaching with which I have been entrusted by the command of God our Savior to Titus my true child in a common faith grace and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Savior this is why I left you in Crete so that you might put what remained into order and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. Joel 2 verses 1 to 32 Blow a trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near. A day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Like blackness there is spread upon the mountains a great and powerful people. Their like has never been before, nor will be again after them through the years of all generations. Fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burns. The land is like the Garden of Eden before them, but behind them a desolate wilderness, and nothing escapes them. Their appearance is like the appearance of horses, and like war horses they run. As with the rumbling of chariots, they leap on the tops of the mountains, like the crackling of a flame of fire devouring the stubble like a powerful army drawn up for battle. Isaiah 66 verse 13 As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. You shall be comforted in Jerusalem. 1 Samuel 8 verses 1 to 22 When Samuel became old, he made his sons judges over Israel. The name of his firstborn son was Joel, and the name of his second, Abijah. They were judges in Beersheba. Yet his sons did not walk in his ways, but turned aside after gain. They took bribes and perverted justice. Then all the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Ramah and said to him, Behold, you are old, and your sons do not walk in your ways. Now appoint for us a king to judge us like all the nations. Acts 21 verse 9 
He had four unmarried daughters who prophesied. Luke 7 verses 1 to 50 After he had finished all his sayings in the hearing of the people, he entered Capernaum. Now a centurion had a servant who was sick and at the point of death, who was highly valued by him. When the centurion heard about Jesus, he sent to him elders of the Jews, asking him to come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they pleaded with him earnestly, saying, He is worthy to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation, and he is the one who built us our synagogue. Jeremiah 30 colon 1 dash 31 colon 40 The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel Write in a book all the words that I have spoken to you For behold, days are coming, declares the Lord When I will restore the fortunes of my people, Israel and Judah says the Lord, and I will bring them back to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall take possession of it. These are the words that the Lord spoke concerning Israel and Judah. Thus says the Lord, we have heard a cry of panic, of terror, and no peace. Proverbs 11 verses 1 to 31. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless keeps his way straight, but the wicked falls by his own wickedness. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 19 The churches of Asia send you greetings. Aquila and Prisca, together with the church in their house, send you hearty greetings in the Lord. John 12 verse 26 If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Isaiah 49 verses 1 to 26 Listen to me, O coastlands, and give attention you peoples from afar. The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother he named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my right is with the Lord, and my recompense with my God. And now the Lord says, He who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honored in the eyes of the Lord and my God has become my strength. Esther 4 colon 1 dash 5 colon 14 When Mordecai learned all that had been done, Mordecai tore his clothes and put on sackcloth and ashes and went out into the midst of the city and he cried out with a loud and bitter cry. He went up to the entrance of the king's gate, for no one was allowed to enter the king's gate clothed in sackcloth. 
And in every province, wherever the king's command and his decree reached, there was great mourning among the Jews, with fasting and weeping and lamenting, and many of them lay in sackcloth and ashes. When Esther's young women and her eunuchs came and told her, the queen was deeply distressed. She sent garments to clothe Mordecai, so that he might take off his sackcloth, but he would not accept them. Then Esther called for Hathak, one of the king's eunuchs, who had been appointed to attend her, and ordered him to go to Mordecai to learn what this was and why it was. Exodus 35 verses 1 to 35 Moses assembled all the congregation of the people of Israel and said to them, These are the things that the Lord has commanded you to do. Six days' work shall be done, but on the seventh day you shall have a Sabbath of solemn rest, holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on it shall be put to death. You shall kindle no fire in all your dwelling places on the Sabbath day. Moses said to all the congregation of the people of Israel, This is the thing that the Lord has commanded. Take from among you a contribution to the Lord. Whoever is of a generous heart, let him bring the Lord's contribution, gold, silver, and bronze. Genesis 24 verses 1 to 67 Now Abraham was old, well advanced in years, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said to his servant, the oldest of his household, who had charge of all that he had, Put your hand under my thigh, that I may make you swear by the Lord the God of heaven and God of the earth, that you will not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell, but will go to my country and to my kindred and take a wife for my son Isaac. The servant said to him, Perhaps the woman may not be willing to follow me to this land. Must I then take your son back to the land from which you came? Luke 21 colon 1 24 colon 53 Jesus looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the offering box and he saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins and he said truly I tell you this poor widow has put in more than all of them for they all contributed out of their abundance but she out of her poverty put in all she had to live on. And while some were speaking of the temple, how it was adorned with noble stones and offerings, he said. 1 Kings 1 colon 1 3 colon 28 Now King David was old and advanced in years. And although they covered him with clothes, he could not get warm. Therefore his servants said to him, Let a young woman be sought for my lord the king, and let her wait on the king and be in his service. Let her lie in your arms, that my lord the king may be warm. So they sought for a beautiful young woman throughout all the territory of Israel, and found Abishag the Shunammite, and brought her to the king. The young woman was very beautiful, and she was of service to the king and attended to him, but the king knew her not. Now Adonijah the son of Haggith exalted himself, saying, I will be king. And he prepared for himself chariots and horsemen, and fifty men to run before him. Leviticus 27 verses 1 to 34 
The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, If anyone makes a special vow to the Lord involving the valuation of persons, then the valuation of a male from 20 years old up to 60 years old shall be 50 shekels of silver, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. If the person is a female, the valuation shall be 30 shekels. If the person is from 5 years old up to 20 years old, the valuation shall be for a male 20 shekels and for a female 10 shekels. Leviticus 21 verses 1 to 24 And the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the priests, the sons of Aaron, and say to them, No one shall make himself unclean for the dead among his people, except for his closest relatives, his mother, his father, his son, his daughter, his brother or his virgin sister, who is near to him because she has had no husband. For her he may make himself unclean. He shall not make himself unclean as a husband among his people, and so profane himself. They shall not make bald patches on their heads, nor shave off the edges of their beards, nor make any cuts on their body. Romans 2 verses 8 to 16 But for those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, there will be wrath and fury. There will be tribulation and distress for every human being who does evil, the Jew first and also the Greek, but glory and honor and peace for everyone who does good the Jew first, and also the Greek. For God shows no partiality. For all who have sinned without the law will also perish without the law, and all who have sinned under the law will be judged by the law. Proverbs 1822-1914 He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. The poor use entreaties, but the rich answer roughly. A man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Better is a poor person who walks in his integrity than one who is crooked in speech and is a fool. Desire without knowledge is not good, and whoever makes haste with his feet misses his way. 2 Thessalonians 3 verses 14 to 16 If anyone does not obey what we say in this letter, take note of that person, and have nothing to do with him, that he may be ashamed. Do not regard him as an enemy, but warn him as a brother. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. 2 Chronicles 22 verses 10 to 12 Now when Athaliah the mother of Ahaziah saw that her son was dead, She arose and destroyed all the royal family of the house of Judah. But Jehoshabeth, the daughter of the king, took Josh the son of Ahaziah and stole him away from among the king's sons who were about to be put to death, and she put him and his nurse in a bedroom. Thus Jehoshabeth, the daughter of King Jehoram and wife of Jehoiada the priest, because she was a sister of Ahaziah, hid him from Athaliah, so that she did not put him to death. And he remained with them six years, hidden in the house of God, while Athaliah reigned over the land. 
2 Kings 21 verse 13. And I will stretch over Jerusalem the measuring line of Samaria and the plumb line of the house of Ahab, and I will wipe Jerusalem as one wipes a dish, wiping it and turning it upside down. Genesis 5 verses 1 to 2. This is the book of the generations of Adam. When God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. Male and female he created them, and he blessed them and named them man when they were created. Revelation 2 colon 14 dash 3 colon 8. But I have a few things against you. You have some there who hold the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the sons of Israel, so that they might eat food sacrificed to idols and practice sexual immorality. So also you have some who hold the teaching of the Nicolite ants. Therefore repent. If not, I will come to you soon and war against them with the sword of my mouth. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who conquers I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, with a new name written on the stone that no one knows except the one who receives it. And to the angel of the church in Thyatira write, The words of the Son of God, who is eyes like a flame of fire, and whose feet are like burnished bronze. 1 Peter 1 verses 17 to 22 And if you call on him as Father who judges impartially according to each one's deeds, conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile, knowing that you were ransomed from the feudal ways inherited from your forefathers not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. He was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last times for the sake of you who through him are believers in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are in God. James 1 colon 14 dash 5 colon 1 But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived my beloved brothers. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Philippians 4 verses 3 to 19. Yes, I ask you also, true companion, help these women who have labored side by side with me in the gospel together with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 24. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. 
Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Bond servants, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, with a sincere heart as you would Christ. Romans 15 verses 1 to 33. We who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good to build him up. For Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus. Romans 3, 20-4, 5 for by works of the law no human being will be justified in his sight, since through the law comes knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law. Although the law and the prophets bear witness to it, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and are justified by His grace as a gift, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Acts 15, 1-16, But some men came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers, Unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question. So, being sent on their way by the church, they passed through both Phoenicia and Samaria, describing in detail the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brothers. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they declared all that God had done with them. But some believers who belonged to the party of the Pharisees rose up and said, it is necessary to circumcise them and to order them to keep the law of Moses. Luke 23 verses 14 to 29 And said to them, You brought me this man as one who was misleading the people. And after examining him before you, Behold, I did not find this man guilty of any of your charges against him. Neither did Herod, for he sent him back to us. Look, nothing deserving death has been done by him. I will therefore punish and release him. But they all cried out together, Away with this man, and released to us Barabbas, a man who had been thrown into prison for an insurrection started in the city and for murder. Luke 20 verses 29 to 47. Now there were seven brothers. The first took a wife and died without children. And the second and the third took her and likewise all seven left no children and died. Afterward the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For the seven had her as wife. 
Mark 15 verses 36 to 41. And someone ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom. And when the centurion, who stood facing him, saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was the Son of God. There were also women looking on from a distance, among whom were Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James the Younger, and of Hoses and Salome. Micah 6,4-7,12 For I brought you up from the land of Egypt, and redeemed you from the house of slavery. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. O oh, my people, Remember what Balak king of Moab devised, and what Balaam the son of Beer answered him, and what happened from Shittim to Gilgal, that you may know the righteous acts of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord, and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has told you, O oh man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? Jeremiah 6, 16-7-18 Thus says the Lord, Stand by the roads, and look, and ask for the ancient paths, where the good way is, and walk in it, and find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk in it. I set watchmen over you, saying, Pay attention to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not pay attention. Therefore hear, O nations, and know, O congregation, what will happen to them. Hear, O earth, behold, I am bringing disaster upon this people, the fruit of their devices, because they have not paid attention to my words. And as for my law, they have rejected it. What used to me is frankincense that comes from Sheba or sweet cane from a distant land. Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices pleasing to me. Isaiah 8 verses 3 to 20 And I went to the prophetess, and she conceived and bore a son. Then the Lord said to me, Call his name Marshal al Hashbaz, for before the boy knows how to cry my father or my mother, the wealth of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria will be carried away before the king of Assyria. The Lord spoke to me again, because this people has refused the waters of Shiloah that flow gently, and rejoice over Rezin and the son of Remaliah. Therefore, behold, the Lord is bringing up against them the waters of the river, mighty and many, the king of Assyria and all his glory. And it will rise over all its channels and go over all its banks. Proverbs 25 verses 2 to 15. It is the glory of God to conceal things, but the glory of kings is to search things out. As the heavens for height and the earth for depth, so the heart of kings is unsearchable. 
Take away the dross from the silver, and the smith has material for a vessel. Take away the wicked from the presence of the king, and his throne will be established in righteousness. Do not put yourself forward in the king's presence or stand in the place of the great. Proverbs 12 verses 4 to 9 An excellent wife is the crown of her husband, but she who brings shame is like rottenness in his bones. The thoughts of the righteous are just, the counsels of the wicked are deceitful. The words of the wicked lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright delivers them. The wicked are overthrown and are no more, but the house of the righteous will stand. A man is commended according to his good sense, but one of twisted mind is despised. Psalm 128, 1-129, A Song of Ascents Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Job 10 verses 1 to 22. I loathe my life. I will give free utterance to my complaint. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. I will say to God, do not condemn me. Let me know why you contend against me. Does it seem good to you to oppress, to despise the work of your hands and favor the designs of the wicked? Have you eyes of flesh? Do you see as man sees? Are your days as the days of man, or your years as a man's years? Job 7 verses 1 to 21 Has not man a hard service on earth? And are not his days like the days of a hired hand? Like a slave who longs for the shadow, and like a hired hand who looks for his wages. So I am allotted months of emptiness, and nights of misery are apportioned to me. When I lie down I say, When shall I arise? But the night is long, and I am full of tossing till the dawn. My flesh is clothed with worms and dirt. My skin hardens, then breaks out afresh. Esther 8, 1-10-3 On that day King Ahasuerus gave to Queen Esther the house of Haman, the enemy of the Jews. And Mordecai came before the king, for Esther had told what he was to her. And the king took off his signet ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave it to Mordecai. And Esther set Mordecai over the house of Haman. Then Esther spoke again to the king. She fell at his feet and wept and pleaded with him to avert the evil plan of Haman the Agagite and the plot that he had devised against the Jews. When the king held out the golden scepter to Esther, Esther rose and stood before the king. And she said, If it please the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and if the thing seems right before the king, and I am pleasing in his eyes, let an order be written to revoke the letters devised by Haman the Agagite, the son of Hamadatha, which he wrote to destroy the Jews who are in all the provinces of the king. Esther 1, 1-2, 23 
Now in the days of Ahasuerus, the Ahasuerus who reigned from India to Ethiopia over 127 provinces. In those days when King Ahasuerus sat on his royal throne in Susa, the citadel. In the third year of his reign, he gave a feast for all his officials and servants. The army of Persia and Media and the nobles and governors of the provinces were before him, while he showed the riches of his royal glory and the splendor and pomp of his greatness for many days, 180 days. And when these days were completed, the king gave for all the people present in Susa the citadel, both great and small, a feast lasting for seven days in the court of the garden of the king's palace. 1 King 1630-2125 And Ahab the son of Omri did evil in the sight of the Lord, more than all who were before him. And as if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebuch, he took for his wife Jezebel the daughter of Ethbal king of the Sidonians, and went and served Baal and worshipped him. He erected an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he built in Samaria. And Ahab made an Asherah. Ahab did more to provoke the Lord, the God of Israel, to anger than all the kings of Israel who were before him. In his days heel of Bethel built Jericho. He laid its foundation at the cost of Abram his firstborn, and set up its gates at the cost of his youngest son Segub, according to the word of the Lord which he spoke by Joshua the son of Nun. Deuteronomy 34 verses 1 to 12 Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is opposite Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land, Gilead as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the western sea, the Negev, and the plain, that is, the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, as far as Zor. And the Lord said to him, This is the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, I will give it to your offspring. I have let you see it with your eyes, but you shall not go over there. So Moses the servant of the Lord died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. Numbers 27 1-23 Then drew near the daughters of Zelophehad the son of Hepher, son of Gilead, son of Machir, son of Manasseh, from the clans of Manasseh the son of Joseph. The names of his daughters were Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Tirzah. And they stood before Moses and before Eleazar the priest and before the chiefs and all the congregation at the entrance of the tent of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness. He was not among the company of those who gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died for his own sin. And he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be taken away from his clan because he had no sons? Give to us a possession among our father's brothers. Moses brought their case before the Lord. Leviticus 4.22-5.19 When a leader sins, doing unintentionally any one of all the things that by the commandments of the Lord his God ought not to be done, 
and realizes his guilt, or the sin which he has committed is made known to him, he shall bring as his offering a goat, a male without blemish, and shall lay his hand on the head of the goat and kill it in the place where they kill the burnt offering before the Lord. It is a sin offering. Then the priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering and pour out the rest of its blood at the base of the altar of burnt offering. And all its fat he shall burn on the altar, like the fat of the sacrifice of peace offerings. So the priest shall make atonement for him for his sin, and he shall be forgiven. Revelation 17, 1-19,21 Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bulls came and said to me, Come, I will show you the judgment of the great prostitute who is seated on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed sexual immorality and with the wine of whose sexual immorality the dwellers on earth have become drunk. And he carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was full of blasphemous names, and it had seven heads and ten horns. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold and jewels and pearls, holding in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and the impurities of her sexual immorality. And on her forehead was written a name of mystery, Babylon the Great, mother of prostitutes and of earth's abominations. Mark 10, 1-13, 37 and he left there and went to the region of Judea and beyond the Jordan, and crowds gathered to him again. And again, as was his custom, he taught them. And Pharisees came up and in order to test him asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? He answered them, What did Moses command you? They said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of divorce and to send her away. And Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart, he wrote you this commandment. 1 Samuel 25, 1-27-12 Now Samuel died, and all Israel assembled and mourned for him, and they buried him in his house at Ramah. Then David rose and went down to the wilderness of Paran. And there was a man in Maon whose business was in Carmel. The man was very rich. He had three thousand sheep and a thousand goats. He was shearing his sheep in Carmel. Now the name of the man was Nabal and the name of his wife Abigail. The woman was discerning and beautiful, but the man was harsh and badly behaved. He was a Kaobite. David heard in the wilderness that Nabal was shearing his sheep. So David sent ten young men. And David said to the young men, Go up to Carmel and go to Nabal and greet him in my name. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. A woman shall not wear a man's garment, nor shall a man put on a woman's cloak, for whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord your God. Genesis 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. Galatians 3 verse 28 There is neither Jew nor Greek, 
There is neither slave nor free. There is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Leviticus 20 verse 13 If a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. Matthew 19 verse 4 He answered, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female? 1 Corinthians 11 verse 12 for as woman was made from man, so man is now born of woman, and all things are from God. Leviticus 18 verse 22 You shall not lie with a male as with a woman, it is an abomination. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9 or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality. Genesis 3 verse 16 To the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be contrary to your husband, but he shall rule over you. 1 Peter 3 verse 7 Likewise, husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the woman as the weaker vessel, since they are heirs with you of the grace of life, so that your prayers may not be hindered. Hebrews 13 verse 4 Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Psalm 68 verse 11 The Lord gives the word. The women who announce the news are a great host. Matthew 19 verse 12 For there are eunuchs who have been so from birth, and there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by men, and there are eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let the one who is able to receive this receive it. Genesis 2 verse 18 Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. Ephesians 5 verses 22 to 33 Wives, Submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word. Ephesians 5 verses 1 to 33 Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love, as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But sexual immorality and all impurity or covetousness must not even be named among you, 
as is proper among saints. Let there be no filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking, which are out of place. But instead let there be thanksgiving. For you may be sure of this, that everyone who is sexually immoral or impure, or who is covetous, that is, an idolater, has no inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Acts 18 verse 26 He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. 1 Corinthians 14 verses 34 to 35 The women should keep silent in the churches, for they are not permitted to speak, but should be in submission, as the law also says. If there is anything they desire to learn, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is shameful for a woman to speak in church. Micah 6 verse 4 For I brought you up from the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of slavery, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. Ephesians 5 verse 21 Submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. Acts 2 verse 17 And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. 2 Peter 3 verses 1 to 18 this is now the second letter that I am writing to you, beloved. In both of them I am stirring up your sincere mind by way of reminder that you should remember the predictions of the holy prophets and the commandment of the Lord and Savior through your apostles, knowing this first of all, that scoffers will come in the last days with scoffing following their own sinful desires. They will say, Where is the promise of his coming? For ever since the fathers fell asleep, all things are continuing as they were from the beginning of creation. For they deliberately overlooked this fact, that the heavens existed long ago, and the earth was formed out of water and through water by the word of God. 1 Timothy 2 verse 12 I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. 1 Peter 3 verses 1 to 22 Likewise, wives, be subject to your own husbands, so that even if some do not obey the word, they may be won without a word by the conduct of their wives, when they see your respectful and pure conduct. Do not let your adorning be external the braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry, or the clothing you wear, but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which in God's sight is very precious. For this is how the holy women who hoped in God used to adorn themselves, by submitting to their own husbands. Romans 1 verses 26 to 27 For this reason God gave them up to dishonorable passions, for their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature, 
And the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. Judges 4 verse 4 Now Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, was judging Israel at that time. Genesis 3 verses 1 to 24 Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God actually say, You shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Romans 1 verses 18 to 32 For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. So they are without excuse. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools. Luke 10 verses 38 to 42 Now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. Genesis 5 verse 2 Male and female he created them, and he blessed them and named them man when they were created. Colossians 3 verse 18 Wives, submit to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Mark 16 verse 9 Now when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. Matthew 19 verses 1 to 30 Now when Jesus had finished these sayings, he went away from Galilee and entered the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. And large crowds followed him, and he healed them there. And Pharisees came up to him and tested him by asking, Is it lawful to divorce one's wife for any cause? He answered, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female? and said, 
Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Isaiah 3 verse 12 My people and fins are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, your guides mislead you, and they have swallowed up the course of your paths. Proverbs 31 verses 1 to 31 The words of King Lemuel An oracle that his mother taught him what are you doing, my son? What are you doing, son of my womb? What are you doing, son of my vows? Do not give your strength to women, your ways to those who destroy kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, or for rulers to take strong drink lest they drink and forget what has been decreed and pervert the rights of all the afflicted. 1 Timothy 3 verse 2 Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 9 to 11 Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Mark 10 verses 42 to 45. And Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know that those who are considered rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Genesis 2 verse 24 Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Genesis 2 verses 22 to 24 And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Genesis 2 verses 1 to 25 Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God finished his work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it God rested from all his work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created, in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. When no bush of the field was yet in the land, and no small plant of the field had yet sprung up for the Lord God had not caused it to rain on the land, 
and there was no man to work the ground. Genesis 1 verses 26 to 28. Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image in the image of God he created him, male and female he created them, and God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. 1 Corinthians 11 verses 14 to 15 Does not nature itself teach you that if a man wears long hair it is a disgrace for him? But if a woman has long hair, it is her glory? For her hair is given to her for a covering. 1 Corinthians 11 verses 1 to 34 be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. Now I commend you, because you remember me in everything and maintain the traditions, even as I delivered them to you. But I want you to understand that the head of every man is Christ, the head of a wife is her husband, and the head of Christ is God. Every man who prays or prophesies with his head covered dishonors his head, but every wife who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head, since it is the same as if her head were shaven. 1 Chronicles 7 verse 24 His daughter was Shira who built both Lower and Upper Beth Haran and Azan Shira. Revelation 1 verses 1 to 20 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. John to the seven churches that are in Asia, Grace to you and peace from him who is, and who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. 1 Peter 3 verse 1 Likewise, wives, be subject to your own husbands, so that even if some do not obey the word, they may be won without a word by the conduct of their wives. Colossians 3 verses 1 to 25 If then you have been raised with Christ, Seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. 
1 Corinthians 11 verses 11 to 12. Nevertheless, in the Lord woman is not independent of man nor man of woman. For as woman was made from man, so man is now born of woman. And all things are from God. Romans 2 verse 11. For God shows no partiality. John 3 verses 16 to 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Mark 10 verses 6 to 9. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. Matthew 19 verses 4 to 6. He answered, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female, and said, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh? So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Ephesians 5 verse 23 For the husband is the head of the wife even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 11 Nevertheless, in the Lord woman is not independent of man nor man of woman. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 9 to 10 Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Leviticus 27 verses 1 to 34 The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, If anyone makes a special vow to the Lord involving the valuation of persons, then the valuation of a male from 20 years old up to 60 years old shall be 50 shekels of silver, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. If the person is a female, the valuation shall be 30 shekels. If the person is from 5 years old up to 20 years old, the valuation shall be for a male 20 shekels, and for a female, ten shekels. Genesis 2 verse 20 The man gave names to all livestock and to the birds of the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found a helper fit for him. Genesis 2 verses 18 to 22 
Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. Now out of the ground the Lord God had formed every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all livestock and to the birds of the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found a helper fit for him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and while he slept took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Titus 2 verses 3 to 5 Older women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good, and so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind, and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. Colossians 3 verse 19 Husbands, love your wives, and do not be harsh with them. Colossians 3 verses 18 to 19 Wives, submit to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Ephesians 5 verses 22 to 25 Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. 1 Corinthians 14 verses 1 to 40 Pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. For one who speaks in a tongue speaks not to men but to God. For no one understands him, but he utters mysteries in the Spirit. On the other hand, the one who prophesies speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. The one who speaks in a tongue builds up himself, but the one who prophesies builds up the church. Now I want you all to speak in tongues, but even more to prophesy. The one who prophesies is greater than the one who speaks in tongues, unless someone interprets so that the church may be built up. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 3 But I want you to understand that the head of every man is Christ. The head of a wife is her husband, and the head of Christ is God. Luke 8 verses 1 to 3 Soon afterward he went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him, and also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa. Herod's household manager, and Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their means. 
Esther 5 verses 1 to 14. On the third day Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner court of the king's palace, in front of the king's quarters, while the king was sitting on his royal throne inside the throne room opposite the entrance to the palace. And when the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court, she won favor in his sight and he held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. Then Esther approached and touched the tip of the scepter, and the king said to her, What is it, Queen Esther? What is your request? It shall be given you, even to the half of my kingdom. And Esther said, If it please the king, let the king and Haman come today to a feast that I have prepared for the king. Then the king said, Bring Haman quickly, so that we may do as Esther has asked. So the king and Haman came to the feast that Esther had prepared. Deuteronomy 23 verse 1 no one whose testicles are crushed or whose male organ is cut off shall enter the assembly of the Lord. Leviticus 21 verses 1 to 24 And the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the priests, the sons of Aaron, and say to them, no one shall make himself unclean for the dead among his people, except for his closest relatives, his mother, his father, his son, his daughter, his brother, or his virgin sister, who is near to him because she has had no husband. For her he may make himself unclean. He shall not make himself unclean as a husband among his people, and so profane himself. They shall not make bald patches on their heads, nor shave off the edges of their beards, nor make any cuts on their body. Genesis 1 verse 28 And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. John 1 verse 14 And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Mark 9, verse 35. And he sat down and called the twelve. And he said to them, If anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. Psalm 68, verses 1 to 35. To the choir master, a psalm of David, a song. God shall arise, his enemies shall be scattered, and those who hate him shall flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so you shall drive them away, as wax melts before fire, so the wicked shall perish before God. But the righteous shall be glad, they shall exult before God, they shall be jubilant with joy. Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Lift up a song to him who rides through the deserts. His name is the Lord. Exult before him. 
father of the fatherless and protector of widows is God in his holy habitation. Deuteronomy 33 verse 7 And this he said of Judah, Hear, O Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him into his people. With your hands contend for him, and be a help against his adversaries. Genesis 4 verse 7 If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is contrary to you, but you must rule over it. Genesis 1 verses 27 to 28 So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Genesis 1 verses 1 to 31 In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. 1 Corinthians 11 verses 8 to 9 For man was not made from woman, but woman from man. Neither was man created for woman, but woman for man. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 5 But every wife who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head, since it is the same as if her head were shaven. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20 Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? whom you have from God. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Romans 2 verse 29 But a Jew is one inwardly, and circumcision is a matter of the heart, by the spirit, not by the letter. His praise is not from man, but from God. Acts 2 verses 17 to 18 And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even on my male servants and female servants in those days, I will pour out my Spirit, and they shall prophesy. John 13 verse 34 A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. Matthew 19 verses 3 to 12 And Pharisees came up to him and tested him by asking, Is it lawful to divorce one's wife for any cause? He answered, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female, and said, 
Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. They said to him, Why then did Moses command one to give a certificate of divorce and to send her away? Exodus 18 verse 4 And the name of the other, Eliezer. For he said, The God of my father was my help, and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. Genesis 2 verse 23 Then the man said, This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Genesis 2 verse 7 Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living creature. James 2 verses 1 to 4 My brothers, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man wearing a gold ring and fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in, and if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, You sit here in a good place, while you say to the poor man, You stand over there, or sit down at my feet, have you not then made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Titus 2 verses 1 to 5 but as for you, teach what accords with sound doctrine. Older men are to be sober-minded, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, in love, and in steadfastness. Older women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good, and so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind, and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. 1 Timothy 2 verses 1 to 15. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Ephesians 5 verse 5 For you may be sure of this, that everyone who is sexually immoral or impure, or who is covetous, that is, an idolater, has no inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Ephesians 4 verses 17 to 18 Now this I say and testify in the Lord, that you must no longer walk as the Gentiles do, in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to their hardness of heart. 1 Corinthians 14 verses 33 to 35 
For God is not a God of confusion, but of peace. As in all the churches of the saints, the women should keep silent in the churches. For they are not permitted to speak, but should be in submission, as the law also says. If there is anything they desire to learn, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is shameful for a woman to speak in church. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 10 verse 12 For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. John 13 verse 16 Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Isaiah 3 colon 1 dash 5 colon 30 For behold, the Lord God of hosts is taking away from Jerusalem and from Judah support and supply, all support of bread and all support of water, the mighty man and the soldier, the judge and the prophet, the diviner and the elder the captain of fifty and the man of rank, the counselor and the skillful magician and the expert in charms. And I will make boys their princes, and infants shall rule over them. And the people will oppress one another, every one his fellow and every one his neighbor. The youth will be insolent to the elder and the despised to the honorable. 1 Timothy 6 verse 19 Thus storing up treasure for themselves as a good foundation for the future, so that they may take hold of that which is truly life. Titus 3 verse 9 But avoid foolish controversies, genealogies, dissensions, and quarrels about the law for they are unprofitable and worthless. 1 Timothy 1 verse 4 Nor to devote themselves to myths and endless genealogies, which promote speculations rather than the stewardship from God that is by faith. Matthew 1 verses 1 to 25 the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, and Judah the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar, and Perez the father of Hezron, and Hezron the father of Ram and Ram the father of Ammonadab, and Ammonadab the father of Nashon, and Nashon the father of Salmon, and Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth, and Obed the father of Jesse. Luke 3 verses 23 to 38 Jesus when he began his ministry, was about thirty years of age, being the son, as was supposed, of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Mabat, the son of Levi, the son of Melchi, the son of Janai, the son of Joseph, the son of Metathias, the son of Amos, the son of Nahum, the son of Esli, 
the son of Nagai, the son of Math, the son of Matathias, the son of Semain, the son of Josak, the son of Joda, the son of Jonan, the son of Risa, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, the son of Neri. Romans 9 verse 27 And Isaiah cries out concerning Israel, Though the number of the sons of Israel be as the sand of the sea, only a remnant of them will be saved. Isaiah 30 verse 8 And now, go, write it before them on a tablet, and inscribe it in a book, that it may be for the time to come as a witness forever. Nehemiah 7 verse 5 Then my God put it into my heart to assemble the nobles and the officials and the people to be enrolled by genealogy. And I found the book of the genealogy of those who came up at the first, and I found written in it. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Colossians 3 verse 20 Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Luke 3 verse 23 Jesus, when he began his ministry, was about 30 years of age, being the son, as was supposed, of Joseph, the son of Heli. Matthew 1 verse 1 The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Genesis 1 verses 1 to 31. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. Matthew 1 verse 21 She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Matthew 1 verse 5 And Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth, and Obed the father of Jesse. Matthew 1 verse 2 Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Ezra 8 verses 1 to 15 These are the heads of their fathers' houses, and this is the genealogy of those who went up with me from Babylonia in the reign of Artaxerxes the king of the sons of Phinehas, Gershom, of the sons of Ithamar, Daniel, of the sons of David, Hadash, of the sons of Shechaniah, who was of the sons of Parash, Zechariah, with whom were registered 150 men, of the sons of Pahath Moab, Elihonai the son of Zerahiah, and with him 200 men. Of the sons of Zatu, Shechaniah the son of Jehaziel, and with him three hundred men. 
Genesis 11 verses 10 to 32. These are the generations of Shem. When Shem was 100 years old, he fathered Arpachshad two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he fathered Arpachshad 500 years and had other sons and daughters. When Arpachshad had lived 35 years, he fathered Shelah. And Arpachshad lived after he fathered Shelah 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Shelah had lived 30 years, he fathered Eber. Matthew 1 verse 16 And Jacob the father of Joseph the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called Christ. Hebrews 6 verses 4 to 6 For it is impossible, in the case of those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift, and have shared in the Holy Spirit, and have tasted the goodness of the Word of God and the powers of the age to come, and then have fallen away, to restore them again to repentance, since they are crucifying once again the Son of God to their own harm and holding Him up to contempt. John 16 verse 33 I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Luke 6 verse 8 But he knew their thoughts, and he said to the man with the withered hand, Come and stand here. And he rose and stood there. Matthew 1 verses 1 to 16 The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, and Judah the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar, and Perez the father of Hezron, and Hezron the father of Ram, and Ram the father of Ammonadab, and Ammonadab the father of Nashon, and Nashon the father of Salmon, and Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth, and Obed the father of Jesse. Isaiah 7 verse 14 Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Ruth 4 verses 18 to 22 now these are the generations of Perez. Perez fathered Hezron, Hezron fathered Ram, Ram fathered Ammonadab, Ammonadab fathered Nashon, Nashon fathered Salmon, Salmon fathered Boaz, Boaz fathered Obed, Obed fathered Jesse, and Jesse fathered David. Revelation 11 verses 1 to 19 Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there, but do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. 
And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. James 4 verse 17 So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. Matthew 1 verses 1 to 17 The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, and Judah the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar, and Perez the father of Hezron, and Hezron the father of Ram, and Ram the father of Ammonadab, and Ammonadab the father of Nashon, and Nashon the father of Salmon, and Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth, and Obed the father of Jesse. 1 Chronicles 1 verses 35 to 54. The sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Ruel, Jush, Jalam, and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz, Taman, Omar, Zepho, Gadam, Kenas, and of Timnah, Amalek. The sons of Ruel, Nahath, Dira, Shama, and Mizah. The sons of Seir, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Anna, Dishan, Ezer, and Dishan. The sons of Lotan, Hori and Hemam, and Lawton's sister was Timna. 1 Chronicles 1 verse 33 The sons of Midian, Ephah, Ephor, Hanak, Abida, and Elda. All these were the descendants of Keturah. Genesis 22 verses 20 to 24. Now after these things it was told to Abraham, Behold, Milcah also has borne children to your brother Nahar. Uzi is firstborn, but his brother, Kemuel the father of Aram, Chesed, Hazo, Pildash, Jidlath, and Bethuel. Bethuel fathered Rebekah. These eight Milka bore to Nahar, Abraham's brother, moreover his concubine, whose name was Reuma, bore Teba, Gaham, Tahash, and Maka. Genesis 10 verses 1 to 32. These are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Sons were born to them after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tiras. The sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Repath, and Tagarma. The sons of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodaman. From these the coastland people spread in their lands, each with his own language, by their clans, in their nations. Genesis 5 verse 1 This is the book of the generations of Adam. When God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. Genesis 3 verse 15 I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Genesis 2 verse 7 
Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. Genesis 1 verse 27 So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Ephesians 6 verse 4 Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Romans 2 verses 12 to 15 for all who have sinned without the law will also perish without the law, and all who have sinned under the law will be judged by the law. For it is not the hearers of the law who are righteous before God, but the doers of the law who will be justified. For when Gentiles, who do not have the law, by nature do what the law requires, they are a law to themselves even though they do not have the law. They show that the work of the law is written on their hearts, while their conscience also bears witness, and their conflicting thoughts accuse or even excuse them. Romans 1 verse 3 Concerning his son, who is descended from David according to the flesh, Acts 17 verses 10 to 11. The brothers immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea, and when they arrived they went into the Jewish synagogue. Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Acts 16 verses 1 to 40. Paul came also to Derb and to Lystra. A disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the brothers at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him and he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in those places, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they went on their way through the cities, they delivered to them for observance the decisions that had been reached by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith, and they increased in numbers daily. Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. John 1 verse 1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Luke 3 verses 34 to 38 The son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the son of Terah, the son of Nahar, the son of Sarag, the son of Ru, the son of Peleg, the son of Eber, the son of Shelah, the son of Kainan, the son of Arphaxad, the son of Shem the son of Noah, the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahalaleel, 
the son of Kainan, the son of Enos, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. Luke 3 verse 27 The son of Jonan, the son of Risa, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Shiltiel, the son of Neri. Luke 1 verse 32 He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. Matthew 17 verses 1 to 9 And after six days Jesus took with him Peter and James and John his brother and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them and his face shone like the sun and his clothes became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Matthew 1 verse 17 So all the generations from Abraham to David were fourteen generations, and from David to the deportation to Babylon fourteen generations, and from the deportation to Babylon to the Christ fourteen generations. Matthew 1 verse 12 And after the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Shealtiel, and Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel. Matthew 1 verse 6 And Jesse the father of David the king, and David was the father of Solomon by the wife of Uriah. Jeremiah 23 verses 5 to 6 Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Isaiah 11 verse 1 There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. Proverbs 22 verse 6 Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Psalm 150 verses 1 to 6 Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Second Chronicles 12 verse 15 Now the acts of Rehoboam from first to last are they not written in the chronicles of Shemaiah the prophet and of Iddo the seer? There were continual wars between Rehoboam and Jeroboam. 
1 Chronicles 17 verses 1 to 27. Now when David lived in his house, David said to Nathan the prophet, Behold, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of the covenant of the Lord is under a tent. And Nathan said to David, Do all that is in your heart, for God is with you. But that same night the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, It is not you who will build me a house to dwell in. For I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up Israel to this day, but I have gone from tent to tent and from dwelling to dwelling. 1 Chronicles 1 verse 32 The sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, she bore Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. The sons of Jokshan, Sheba and Dedan. 1 Chronicles 1 verses 28 to 31 the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael. These are their genealogies. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nebaeth, and Kedar, Adbeel, Nibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Adad, Tima, Jatur, Naphish, and Kadima. These are the sons of Ishmael. Exodus 6 verses 14 to 27. These are the heads of their fathers' houses, the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanuk, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. These are the clans of Reuben, the sons of Simeon, Jemuel, Jemim, Ohad, Jachin, Zohar, and Shal the son of a Canaanite woman. These are the clans of Simeon. These are the names of the sons of Levi according to their generations, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari, the years of the life of Levi being 137 years. The sons of Gershon, Libni and Shimi by their clans. The sons of Kohath, Amram, Izar, Hebron, and Uziel, the years of the life of Kohath being 133 years. Genesis 46 verses 23 to 24. The son of Dan, Hashem, the sons of Naphtali, Jaziel, Guni, Jezer, and Shalom. Genesis 36 verses 1 to 43. These are the generations of Esau, that is, Edom. Esau took his wives from the Canaanites. Adah the daughter of Elon the Hittite, Ahalabumah the daughter of Anna the daughter of Zibion the Hivite, and Basemath, Ishmael's daughter, the sister of Nebaeth. And Adah bore to Esau, Eliphaz, Basemath bore Ruel, and Ohalabama bore Jush, Jalam, and Korah. These are the sons of Esau who were born to him in the land of Canaan. Genesis 35 verses 23 to 26. The sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun, the sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin, the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's servant, Dan, and Naphtali, the sons of Zilpah, Leah's servant, Gad, and Asher. These were the sons of Jacob who were born to him in Paddan Aram. Genesis 25 verses 
12 to 16. These are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's servant, bore to Abraham. These are the names of the sons of Ishmael, named in the order of their birth, Nebaeth, the firstborn of Ishmael, and Kedar, Adbil, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tima, Jatur, Naphish, and Kadima. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names, by their villages and by their encampments, twelve princes according to their tribes. Genesis 22 verse 18 And in your offspring shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Genesis 5 verses 1 to 32 This is the book of the generations of Adam. When God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. Male and female he created them, and he blessed them and named them man when they were created. When Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness, after his image, and named him Seth. The days of Adam after he fathered Seth were 800 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. Genesis 2 verse 24 Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Revelation 22 verse 16 I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you about these things for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. Revelation 13 verse 8 And all who dwell on earth will worship it, everyone whose name has not been written before the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb who is slain. Revelation 11 verse 7 And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. Hebrews 11 verse 31 By faith Rahab the prostitute did not perish with those who were disobedient, because she had given a friendly welcome to the spies. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness. 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. 1 Timothy 1 verses 1 to 20 Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by command of God our Savior and of Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my true child in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. As I urged you when I was going to Macedonia, Remain at Ephesus so that you may charge certain persons not to teach any different doctrine, nor to devote themselves to myths and endless genealogies, which promote speculations rather than the stewardship from God that is by faith. 
The aim of our charge is love that issues from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith. Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 2 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. Galatians 3 verse 16 Now the promises were made to Abraham and to his offspring. It does not say, and to offsprings, referring to many, but referring to one, and to your offspring, who is Christ. 1 Corinthians 5 verse 5 you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, so that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 17 For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with words of eloquent wisdom, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. Acts 17 verse 11 Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Acts 9 verse 17 So Ananias departed and entered the house. And laying his hands on him, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road by which you came has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts 2 verse 30 Being therefore a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants on his throne. John 14 verse 2 In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Luke 24 verses 13 to 35 That very day two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and they were talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What is this conversation that you are holding with each other as you walk? And they stood still, looking sad. Luke 13 verse 33 Nevertheless, I must go on my way today and tomorrow and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet should perish away from Jerusalem. Luke 6 verse 2 But some of the Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath? Luke 3 verses 36 to 38 The son of Kainan, the son of Arphaxad, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahalaleel, the son of Kainan, 
the son of Enos, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. Luke 3 verse 3 And he went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Luke 3 verse 2 During the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John the son of Zechariah in the wilderness. Luke 3 verses 1 to 38. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip tetrarch of the region of Ituria and Trachonitis, and Lysanias tetrarch of Abilene. During the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John the son of Zechariah in the wilderness. And he went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall become straight, and the rough places shall become level ways. Luke 2 verse 11 For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Luke 1 verse 35 And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy the Son of God. Matthew 24 verses 1 to 51 Jesus left the temple and was going away when his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. But he answered them, You see all these, do you not? Truly, I say to you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. Matthew 3 verse 9 and do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father, for I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children for Abraham. First Chronicles 2 verse 9 The sons of Hezron that were born to him, Jeremiel, Ram, and Calabi. 1 Chronicles 1 verses 4 to 27 Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth The sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tiras. The sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Repath, and Tagarma. The sons of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, Hittim, and Rodanim. The sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. 1 Chronicles 1 verses 1 to 4. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, 
Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Hebrews 7 verse 14 For it is evident that our Lord was descended from Judah, and in connection with that tribe Moses said nothing about priests. Romans 8 verse 15 For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. John 7 verse 31 Yet many of the people believed in him. They said, when the Christ appears, will he do more signs than this man has done? John 1 verse 2 He was in the beginning with God. Numbers 14 18 The Lord is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, forgiving iniquity and transgression but he will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation. Ezekiel 18 verse 20 The soul who sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. Deuteronomy 24 verse 16 Fathers shall not be put to death because of their children, nor shall children be put to death because of their fathers. Each one shall be put to death for his own sin. Exodus 20 verse 5 You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me. Matthew 24 verse 34 Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 24 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Bond servants, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, with a sincere heart as you would Christ. Galatians 1 verse 8 but even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. Luke 21 verse 32 Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all has taken place. Genesis 3 verse 15 I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Revelation 21 verses 1 to 27 Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. 
And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Revelation 20 verse 4 Then I saw thrones, and seated on them were those to whom the authority to judge was committed. Also I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 13 to 17 But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Acts 10 verses 1 to 48 At Caesarea there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion of what was known as the Italian cohort, a devout man who feared God with all his household, gave alms generously to the people, and prayed continually to God. About the ninth hour of the day he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God come in and say to him, Cornelius. And he stared at him in terror and said, What is it, Lord? And he said to him, Your prayers and your alms have ascended as a memorial before God. And now send men to Joppa, and bring one Simon, who is called Peter. Matthew 24 verses 1 to 51 Jesus left the temple and was going away, when his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. But he answered them, You see all these, do you not? Truly, I say to you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray. 
For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 68 And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Deuteronomy 5 verse 9 You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Exodus 34 verse 7 Keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. Genesis 12 verse 3 I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Revelation 20 verses 11 to 15 Then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it. From his presence earth and sky fled away, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Then another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in the books, according to what they had done. And the sea gave up the dead who were in it. Death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them. And they were judged, each one of them, according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 19 verses 11 to 21 Then I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. The one sitting on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems, and he has a name written that no one knows but himself. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and the name by which he is called is the Word of God. And the armies of heaven, arrayed in fine linen, white and pure, were following him on white horses. From his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God the Almighty. Revelation 17 verse 14 They will make war on the Lamb, and the Lamb will conquer them. For he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and those with him are called and chosen and faithful. Revelation 17 verse 8 The beast that you saw was, and is not, 
and is about to rise from the bottomless pit and go to destruction. And the dwellers on earth whose names have not been written in the book of life from the foundation of the world will marvel to see the beast, because it was and is not and is to come. Revelation 14 verses 1 to 20 Then I looked, and behold, on Mount Zion stood the Lamb, and with him one hundred and forty-four thousand who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven like the roar of many waters and like the sound of loud thunder. The voice I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps, and they were singing a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and before the elders. No one could learn that song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. It is these who have not defiled themselves with women, for they are virgins. It is these who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These have been redeemed from mankind as first fruits for God and the Lamb, and in their mouth no lie was found, for they are blameless. Revelation 13 verses 1 to 18 And I saw a beast rising out of the sea, with ten horns and seven heads, with ten diadems on its horns and blasphemous names on its heads. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. And to it the dragon gave his power and his throne and great authority. One of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed and the whole earth marveled as they followed the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, for he had given his authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who can fight against it? And the beast was given a mouth uttering haughty and blasphemous words, and it was allowed to exercise authority for forty-two months. Revelation 12 verse 9 And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world, uh, was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Revelation 12 verse 3 And another sign appeared in heaven, Behold, a great red dragon, with seven heads and ten horns, and on his head seven diadems. Revelation 11 verse 15 Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Revelation 11 verse 7 And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. Revelation 9 verse 5 They were allowed to torment them for five months, but not to kill them, and their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it stings someone. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but is patient toward you not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. 2 Timothy 3 verse 15 
And how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Revelation 22 verses 18 to 19. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this book. 1 Peter 3 verse 18 For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit. Psalm 145 verse 4 One generation shall commend your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. Psalm 71 verse 18 So even to old age and gray hairs, O God, do not forsake me, until I proclaim your might to another generation, your power to all those to come. Exodus 34 verses 6 to 7 The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. Exodus 20 verses 5 to 6 You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing steadfast love to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. Psalm 102 verse 18 Let this be recorded for a generation to come, so that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord. Psalm 78 verse 4 We will not hide them from their children, but tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord, and His might, and the wonders that He has done. Luke 1 verse 50 And His mercy is for those who fear Him from generation to generation. Psalm 100 verse 5 For the Lord is good, His steadfast love endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. Proverbs 4 verses 10 to 27 Hear, my son, and accept my words, that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I have led you in the paths of uprightness. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of the evil. Psalm 119 verse 111 Your testimonies are my heritage forever, for they are the joy of my heart. 
Daniel 4 verse 3. How great are his signs, how mighty his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and his dominion endures from generation to generation. Romans 1 verses 1 to 32. Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the holy scriptures concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Exodus 20 verse 5 You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him. Deuteronomy 5 verse 9 You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Numbers 14:18. The Lord is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, forgiving iniquity and transgression, but he will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children, to the third and the fourth generation. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Exodus 34 verse 7 Keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. Exodus 20 verse 6 But showing steadfast love to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. Galatians 3 verse 13 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Leviticus 26 verses 39 to 42 
And those of you who are left shall rot away in your enemies' lands because of their iniquity, and also because of the iniquities of their fathers they shall rot away like them. But if they confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers and their treachery that they committed against me, and also in walking contrary to me, so that I walked contrary to them and brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised heart is humbled, and they make amends for their iniquity, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob. And I will remember my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abraham, and I will remember the land. Genesis 22 verse 18 And in your offspring shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Ephesians 4 verses 1 to 32 I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Malachi 4 verse 6 And he will turn the hearts of fathers to their children and the hearts of children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with a decree of utter destruction. Deuteronomy 4 verse 9 Only take care and keep your soul diligently, lest you forget the things that your eyes have seen, and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life. Make them known to your children and your children's children. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17 All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Psalm 22 verse 30 Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. Deuteronomy 11 verse 19 You shall teach them to your children, talking of them when you are sitting in your house, and when you are walking by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. Ezekiel 18 verse 20 The soul whose sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. Ezekiel 18 verse 2 What do you mean by repeating this proverb concerning the land of Israel? The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Romans 8 verse 1 There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Matthew 24 verse 34 Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. 
James 4 verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Deuteronomy 32 verse 7. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father, and he will show you, your elders, and they will tell you. Psalm 78 verse 6 That the next generation might know them, the children yet unborn, and arise and tell them to their children. Psalm 48 verse 13 Consider well her ramparts, go through her citadels, that you may tell the next generation. Psalm 24 verse 6 Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Selah Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Exodus 17 verse 16 Saying, A hand upon the throne of the Lord. The Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Acts 2 verse 2 and suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Deuteronomy 4 verse 10 How on the day that you stood before the Lord your God at Horeb, the Lord said to me, Gather the people to me, that I may let them hear my words, so that they may learn to fear me all the days that they live on the earth, and that they may teach their children so. 2 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 4 But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Galatians 1 verse 2 And all the brothers who are with me to the churches of Galatia. Psalm 119 verse 90 Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You have established the earth and it stands fast. Proverbs 22 verse 6 Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Luke 21 verse 2 And he saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. Deuteronomy 24 verse 16 Fathers shall not be put to death because of their children, nor shall children be put to death because of their fathers. Each one shall be put to death for his own sin. Matthew 24 verse 2 But he answered them, You see all these, do you not? Truly I say to you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. 
2 Peter 3 verse 2 that you should remember the predictions of the holy prophets and the commandment of the Lord and Savior through your apostles. Galatians 3 verse 10 For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law, and do them. Acts 17 verse 2 And Paul went in, as was his custom, and on three Sabbath days he reasoned with them from the scriptures. Proverbs 26 verse 2 Like a sparrow in its flitting, like a swallow in its flying, a curse that is causeless does not alight. Romans 8 verses 1 to 2 There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. Psalm 112 verse 2 His offspring will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Galatians 3 verses 13 to 14 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us for it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree, so that in Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles, so that we might receive the promised spirit through faith. Psalm 78 verse 8 And that they should not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast, whose spirit was not faithful to God. Matthew 24 verse 13 But the one who endures to the end will be saved. Genesis 9 verse 12 And God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. Matthew 1 verse 17 So all the generations from Abraham to David were fourteen generations, and from David to the deportation to Babylon 14 generations, and from the deportation to Babylon to the Christ 14 generations. 2 Timothy 3 verse 2 For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy. Genesis 1 verses 1 to 31 In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. Galatians 3 verse 2 Let me ask you only this. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Matthew 24 verse 22 And if those days had not been cut short, 
No human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 68 And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Acts 13 verse 36 For David, after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation, fell asleep and was laid with his fathers and saw corruption. Psalm 22 verse 31 They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn that he has done it. 2 Timothy 2 verse 2 And what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Mark 9 verse 2 And after six days Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain by themselves and he was transfigured before them. Deuteronomy 6 verse 2 That you may fear the Lord your God, you and your son and your son's son, by keeping all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you all the days of your life, and that your days may be long. Deuteronomy 29 verse 22 And the next generation, your children who rise up after you, and the foreigner who comes from a far land, will say, when they see the afflictions of that land and the sicknesses with which the Lord has made it sick. Psalm 78 verse 2 I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings from of old. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 2 For in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heavenly dwelling. Genesis 12 verse 3 I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. John 3 verse 2 This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Numbers 15.38 Speak to the people of Israel and tell them to make tassels on the corners of their garments throughout their generations and to put a cord of blue on the tassel of each corner. Daniel 9 verse 2 In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, perceived in the books the number of years that, according to the word of the Lord to Jeremiah the prophet, must pass before the end of the desolations of Jerusalem, namely, seventy years. Romans 12 verse 2 
Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Psalm 73 verse 15 If I had said, I will speak thus, I would have betrayed the generation of your children. Hebrews 13 verse 7 Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Malachi 4 verses 5 to 6 Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. And he will turn the hearts of fathers to their children and the hearts of children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with a decree of utter destruction. Ephesians 3 verse 4 When you read this, you can perceive my insight into the mystery of Christ. Luke 7 verse 31 To what then shall I compare the people of this generation, and what are they like? Psalm 78 verses 1 to 72 A masculine of Azah. Give ear, O my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings from of old, things that we have heard and known, that our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, but tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord, and His might, and the wonders that He has done. He established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers to teach to their children. Romans 12 verses 1 to 2 I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 13 for in one spirit we were all baptized into one body Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. Judges 2 verse 10 And all that generation also were gathered to their fathers. And there arose another generation after them who did not know the Lord or the work that he had done for Israel. Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 4 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Genesis 17 verse 7 And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring spring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. Deuteronomy 6 verse 4 Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. 
Psalm 78 verses 5 to 7. He established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers to teach to their children, that the next generation might know them, the children yet unborn, and arise and tell them to their children, so that they should set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Isaiah 40 verses 1 to 31 Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem, and cry to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Daniel 9 verses 1 to 27 In the first year of Darius the son of Ahasuerus, by descent in need, who was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, perceived in the books the number of years that, according to the word of the Lord to Jeremiah the prophet, must pass before the end of the desolations of Jerusalem, namely, seventy years. Then I turned my face to the Lord God, seeking him by prayer and pleas for mercy with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. I prayed to the Lord my God and made confession, saying, O Lord, the great and awesome God, who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments, we have sinned and done wrong and acted wickedly and rebelled, turning aside from your commandments and rules. Exodus 1 verses 1 to 22. These are the names of the sons of Israel who came to Egypt with Jacob, each with his household, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and Benjamin, Dan, and Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. All the descendants of Jacob were seventy persons. Joseph was already in Egypt. Exodus 20 verse 12 Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. John 14 verse 12 Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Exodus 20 verse 2 I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. Numbers 14.18 The Lord is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, forgiving iniquity and transgression, but he will by no means clear the guilty visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children 
to the third and the fourth generation. Exodus 20 verse 5 You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me. Ezekiel 18 verse 20 The soul whose sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. Galatians 3 verse 13 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree. Deuteronomy 24 verse 16 Fathers shall not be put to death because of their children, nor shall children be put to death because of their fathers. Each one shall be put to death for his own sin. John 9 verses 1 to 3 As he passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, It was not that this man sinned, or his parents, but that the works of God might be displayed in him. John 8 verse 36 So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Ezekiel 18 verses 1 to 32 The word of the Lord came to me. What do you mean by repeating this proverb concerning the land of Israel? The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge? As I live, declares the Lord God, this proverb shall no more be used by you in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the Father as well as the soul of the Son is mine. The soul whose sins shall die. If a man is righteous and does what is just and right. Ezekiel 18 verses 19 to 20. Yet you say, Why should not the Son suffer for the iniquity of the Father? When the Son has done what is just and right, and has been careful to observe all my statutes, he shall surely live. The soul whose sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Exodus 34 verse 7 Keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children, to the third and the fourth generation. Exodus 34 verses 6 to 7 The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, 
and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. But who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children, to the third and the fourth generation? Leviticus 26 verses 39 to 42 And those of you who are left shall rot away in your enemies' lands because of their iniquity, and also because of the iniquities of their fathers they shall rot away like them. But if they confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers and their treachery that they committed against me, and also in walking contrary to me, so that I walked contrary to them and brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised heart is humbled, and they make amends for their iniquity, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob. And I will remember my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abraham, and I will remember the land. Deuteronomy 5 verse 9 You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Genesis 12 verse 3 I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Galatians 3 verse 10 For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law, and do them. Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 68 And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. John 8 verse 32 And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Hosea 4 verse 6 My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I reject you from being a priest to me. And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. Jeremiah 17 verse 5 Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from the Lord. Mark 11 verse 24 Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Proverbs 26 verse 2 Like a sparrow in its flitting, like a swallow in its flying, a curse that is causeless does not alight. 2 Chronicles 25 verse 4 But he did not put their children to death, according to what is written in the law, in the book of Moses, where the Lord commanded, 
fathers shall not die because of their children, nor children die because of their fathers, but each one shall die for his own sin. James 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Exodus 20 verses 4 to 6 You shall not make for yourself a carved image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing steadfast love to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore choose life that you and your offspring may live. Ezekiel 18 verse 2 what do you mean by repeating this proverb concerning the land of Israel? The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Romans 8 verse 1 There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans 8 verses 1 to 2 there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. Exodus 20 verse 6 But showing steadfast love to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments, Psalm 103 verse 17 But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear Him and His righteousness to children's children. Exodus 20 verses 5 to 6 You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing steadfast love to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. 2 Corinthians 5 verses 17 to 19 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Luke 13 verse 3 No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Jeremiah 31 verse 29 In those days they shall no longer say, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Lamentations 5 verse 7 Our fathers sinned and are no more, and we bear their iniquities. Proverbs 22 verse 6 
train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness. Romans 12 verse 14 Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Romans 12 verses 1 to 2 I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Acts 16 verse 31 And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. Jeremiah 17 verse 7 Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. Deuteronomy 28 verses 15 to 68 But if you will not obey the voice of the Lord your God or be careful to do all his commandments and his statutes that I command you today, then all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the field. Cursed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Cursed shall be the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your ground, the increase of your herds and the young of your flock. Cursed shall you be when you come in, and cursed shall you be when you go out. Revelation 22 verse 3 No longer will there be anything accursed, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 24 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Bond servants, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, with a sincere heart as you would Christ. Galatians 3 verse 29 and if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. John 10 verse 10 The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. 1 John 1 verse 9 if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Deuteronomy 7 verse 9 Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments. To a thousand generations. Mark 11 verse 21 And Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. 
Numbers 23 colon 8. How can I curse whom God has not cursed? How can I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced? Matthew 25 verse 41. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Genesis 4 verses 6 to 8. The Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry, and why is your face fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is contrary to you, but you must rule over it. Cain spoke to Abel his brother, and when they were in the field, Cain rose up against his brother Abel and killed him. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Genesis 8 verse 21 And when the Lord smelled the pleasing aroma, the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground because of man, for the intention of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I ever again strike down every living creature as I have done. Galatians 3 verses 13 to 14 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree, so that in Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles so that we might receive the promised Spirit through faith. Jeremiah 32 verse 18 You show steadfast love to thousands, but you repay the guilt of fathers to their children after them, O great and mighty God, whose name is the Lord of hosts. Jeremiah 31 verses 29 to 31. In those days they shall no longer say, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Each man who eats sour grapes, his teeth shall be set on edge. Behold, the days are coming declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Nehemiah 1 verse 6 Let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer of your servant that I now pray before you day and night for the people of Israel your servants, confessing the sins of the people of Israel which we have sinned against you. Even I and my father's house have sinned. Exodus 34 verses 1 to 35. The Lord said to Moses, Cut for yourself two tablets of stone like the first, and I will write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablets, which you broke. Be ready by the morning, and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai, and present yourself there to me on the top of the mountain. No one shall come up with you, and let no one be seen throughout all the mountain. Let no flocks or herds graze opposite that mountain. So Moses cut two tablets of stone like the first. And he rose early in the morning, and went up on Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand two tablets of stone. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there, and proclaimed the name of the Lord. 
Romans 9 verse 3 For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my brothers, my kinsmen according to the flesh. Daniel 9 verse 16 O Lord, according to all your righteous acts, let your anger and your wrath turn away from your city Jerusalem your holy hill, because for our sins and for the iniquities of our fathers, Jerusalem and your people have become a byword among all who are around us. Hebrews 11 verses 24 to 31. By faith Moses, when he was grown up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to be mistreated with the people of God than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. He considered the reproach of Christ greater wealth than the treasures of Egypt, for he was looking to the reward. By faith he left Egypt, not being afraid of the anger of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. By faith he kept the Passover and sprinkled the blood, so that the destroyer of the firstborn might not touch them. Acts 10 verse 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. John 7 verse 49 But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. Matthew 16 verse 19 I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Ezekiel 18 verses 1 to 4 The word of the Lord came to me. What do you mean by repeating this proverb concerning the land of Israel? The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge? As I live, declares the Lord God, this proverb shall no more be used by you in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the Father as well as the soul of the Son is mine. The soul who sins shall die. Psalm 118 verse 17 I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. Luke 22 verse 20 And likewise the cup after they had eaten, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Mark 10 verses 29 to 45 Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel who will not receive a hundredfold now in this time. Houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. And they were on the road, going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. And they were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. And taking the twelve again, he began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death 
and deliver him over to the Gentiles. Psalm 103, 1-107-43 of David Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Ephesians 6 verse 12 For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Joshua 7 verses 1 to 26 But the people of Israel broke faith in regard to the devoted things, for Achan the son of Carmi, son of Zabdi, son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took some of the devoted things. And the anger of the Lord burned against the people of Israel. Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is near beth -Avon, east of Bethel, and said to them, Go up and spy out the land. And the men went up and spied out Ai. And they returned to Joshua and said to him, Do not have all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and attack Ai. Do not make the whole people toil up there, for they are few. So about three thousand men went up there from the people, and they fled before the men of Ai. And the men of Ai killed about thirty-six of their men, and chased them before the gate as far as Sheberim and struck them at the descent. And the hearts of the people melted and became as water. Numbers 14, 19-20 Please pardon the iniquity of this people, according to the greatness of your steadfast love, just as you have forgiven this people, from Egypt until now. Then the Lord said, I have pardoned according to your word. Hebrews 2 verse 14 Since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same things, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil. Isaiah 53 verse 5 But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. Deuteronomy 11 verses 26 to 28. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse, the blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and the curse, if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. But turn aside from the way that I am commanding you today, to go after other gods that you have not known. Galatians 3 verses 8 to 22 And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, In you shall all the nations be blessed. So then, those who are of faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. 
For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law, and do them. Now it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. But the law is not of faith, rather the one who does them shall live by them. Romans 9.16-10.10 10. So then it depends not on human will or exertion, but on God, who has mercy. For the scripture says to Pharaoh, For this very purpose I have raised you up, that I might show my power in you, and that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth. So then he is mercy on whomever he wills, and he hardens whomever he wills. You will say to me then, why does he still find fault? For who can resist his will? But who are you, O oh man, to answer back to God? Will what is molded say to its molder, why have you made me like this? John 15 verses 1 to 27. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. Matthew 15 verse 13 he answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be rooted up. Malachi 3 verse 6 For I the Lord do not change. Therefore you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. Jeremiah 31 verses 29 to 30 in those days they shall no longer say, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Each man who eats sour grapes, his teeth shall be set on edge. Proverbs 22 verses 8 to 16 Whoever sows injustice will reap calamity, and the rod of his fury will fail. Whoever has a bountiful I will be blessed, for he shares his bread with the poor. Drive out a scoffer, and strife will go out, and quarreling and abuse will cease. He who loves purity of heart, and whose speech is gracious, will have the king as his friend. The eyes of the Lord keep watch over knowledge, but he overthrows the words of the traitor. Proverbs 18 verse 21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. Deuteronomy 23 verse 2 no one born of a forbidden union may enter the assembly of the Lord. Even to the tenth generation, none of his descendants may enter the assembly of the Lord. Numbers 23, 20-21 Behold, I received a command to bless. He has blessed, and I cannot revoke it. He has not beheld misfortune in Jacob, nor has he seen trouble in Israel. 
The Lord their God is with them, and the shout of a king is among them. Genesis 25, 1-27-46 Abraham took another wife, whose name was Keturah. She bore him Zimran, Jokshan, Madan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jokshan fathered Sheba and Dedan. The sons of Dedan were Ashurim, Latushim, and Lumim. The sons of Midian were Ephah, Ephor, Hanak, Abida, and Elda. All these were the children of Keturah. Abraham gave all he had to Isaac. Genesis 21,1-22,24 The Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did to Sarah as he had promised. And Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the time of which God had spoken to him. Abraham called the name of his son who was born to him, whom Sarah bore him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac when he was eight days old, as God had commanded him. Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. Revelation 1 verse 1 the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. 1 John 4 verse 4 Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. James 5 verse 16 Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Romans 8 verse 2 For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. Matthew 27, verse 25. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Matthew 19, 29 to 2015. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last first. For the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And going out about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. Hosea 4, 6, 6, 5 My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I reject you from being a priest to me. And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. The more they increase, the more they sinned against me, I will change their glory into shame. They feed on the sin of my people. They are greedy for their iniquity. And it shall be like people, like priests, 
I will punish them for their ways and repay them for their deeds. They shall eat, but not be satisfied. They shall play the whore, but not multiply, because they have forsaken the Lord to cherish. Isaiah 54 verse 17 No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed, and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Psalm 51, 1-52, 9 to the choir master, a psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet went to him, after he had gone into Bathsheba, have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Exodus 29 verse 29 The holy garments of Aaron shall be for his sons after him. They shall be anointed in them and ordained in them. Galatians 3 verse 13 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us for it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree. Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 68 And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. John 9 verses 1 to 41 As he passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, It was not that this man sinned, or his parents, but that the works of God might be displayed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 But if you will not obey the voice of the Lord your God or be careful to do all his commandments and his statutes that I command you today, then all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 he himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. 
Galatians 2 verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Proverbs 26 verse 2 Like a sparrow in its flitting, like a swallow in its flying, a curse that is causeless does not alight. Exodus 34 verse 7 Keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children, to the third and the fourth generation. Genesis 12 verse 3 I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Revelation 13 verse 18 This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. Revelation 12 verse 11 and they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they loved not their lives even unto death. 3 John 1 verse 2 Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. James 5 verse 16 Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Ephesians 6 verses 13 to 18 Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand Stand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and, as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Ephesians 4 verses 11 to 15 And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children, tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ. Revelation 22 verses 1 to 21 Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. Also, on either side of the river, the tree of life with its twelve kinds of fruit, 
yielding its fruit each month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be anything accursed, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads, and night will be no more. They will need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. 1 John 3 verse 8 Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. Hebrews 1 verse 14 Are they not all ministering spirits sent out to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation? 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear but of power and love and self-control. Colossians 1 verse 27 To them God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 24 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Bond servants, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, with a sincere heart as you would Christ. Ephesians 3 verse 20 Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 But as it is written, What no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. John 10 verse 10 the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Matthew 27 verses 24 to 25. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Jeremiah 31 verse 29 In those days they shall no longer say, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Isaiah 55 verse 11 So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing for which I send it. Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 6 Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. 
Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned Devery Oneto his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Proverbs 30 verse 17 The eye that mocks a father and scorns to obey a mother will be picked out by the ravens of the valley and eaten by the vultures. Proverbs 28 verse 27 Whoever gives to the poor will not want, but he who hides his eyes will get many a curse. Proverbs 18 verse 21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Deuteronomy 27 verse 15 Cursed be the man who makes a carved or cast metal image, an abomination to the Lord, a thing made by the hands of a craftsman, and sets it up in secret. And all the people shall answer and say, Amen. Revelation 13 verse 1 and I saw a beast rising out of the sea, with ten horns and seven heads, with ten diadems on its horns and blasphemous names on its heads. Ephesians 6 verse 18 Praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance making supplication for all the saints. Ephesians 4 verses 11 to 12 And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ. Ephesians 4 verse 1 I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. Ephesians 4 verses 1 to 32 I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Ephesians 1 verse 18 Having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints. Ephesians 1 verse 17 that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. Galatians 1 verses 8 to 9 But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you received, let him be accursed. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 31 
for you can all prophesy one by one, so that all may learn and all be encouraged. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 3 On the other hand, the one who prophesies speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 28 And God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, helping, administrating, and various kinds of tongues. Romans 8 verse 29 for those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Romans 6 verse 16 Do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness. Romans 6 verse 12 Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, to make you obey its passions. Romans 5 verse 12 Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all sinned. Romans 1 verses 1 to 32 Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his Son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the Son of God in power according to the Spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations. Acts 10 verse 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. John 9 verse 2 And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? John 8 verse 32 And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. John 3 verse 5 Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Luke 16 verse 18 Everyone who divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery, and he who marries a woman divorced from her husband commits adultery. Luke 4 verses 18 to 19 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Mark 16 verses 9 to 20 
Now when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. But when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they would not believe it. After these things he appeared in another form to two of them as they were walking into the country. And they went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them. Mark 9 verse 29 And he said to them, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer. Matthew 27 verse 16 And they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. Matthew 24 verse 34 Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Matthew 24 verses 1 to 51 Jesus left the temple and was going away when his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. But he answered them, You see all these, do you not? Truly I say to you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. Matthew 7 verses 15 to 16 Beware of false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Matthew 5 verse 17 Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Malachi 3 verses 8 to 10 Will man rob God? Yet you are robbing me. But you say, How have we robbed you? In your tithes and contributions. You are cursed with a curse, for you are robbing me, the whole nation of you. Bring the full tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and thereby put me to the test, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need. Zechariah 5 verses 1 to 4 Again I lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, a flying scroll. And he said to me, What do you see? I answered, I see a flying scroll. Its length is 20 cubits, and its width 10 cubits. Then he said to me, This is the curse that goes out over the face of the whole land. For everyone who steals shall be cleaned out according to what is on one side, and everyone who swears falsely shall be cleaned out according to what is on the other side. I will send it out, declares the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter the house of the thief and the house of him who swears falsely by my name. And it shall remain in his house and consume it, both timber and stones. Hosea 4 verse 6 My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, 
because you have rejected knowledge, I reject you from being a priest to me. And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. Daniel 7 verses 1 to 28. In the first year of Belshazzar king of Babylon, Daniel saw a dream and visions of his head as he lay in his bed. Then he wrote down the dream and told the sum of the matter. Daniel declared, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of heaven were stirring up the great sea. And four great beasts came up out of the sea, different from one another. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. Then as I looked, its wings were plucked off, and it was lifted up from the ground and made to stand on two feet like a man, and the mind of a man was given to it. And behold, another beast, a second one, like a bear. It was raised up on one side. It had three ribs in its mouth between its teeth. And it was told, Arise, devour much flesh. Daniel 6 verse 21 Then Daniel said to the king, O king, live forever. Ezekiel 18 verses 1 to 32 The word of the Lord came to me. What do you mean by repeating this proverb concerning the land of Israel? The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge? As I live, declares the Lord God, this proverb shall no more be used by you in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the father as well as the soul of the son is mine. The soul who sins shall die. If a man is righteous and does what is just and right. Jeremiah 31 verse 30 But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Each man who eats sour grapes, his teeth shall be set on it. Jeremiah 31 verses 29 to 34. In those days they shall no longer say, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Each man who eats sour grapes, his teeth shall be set on edge. Behold, the days are coming declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, not like the covenant that I made with their fathers on the day when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. My covenant that they broke, though I was their husband, declares the Lord, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days declares the Lord, I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Isaiah 53 verses 1 to 12. Who has believed what he has heard from us? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, 
He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 19 verses 1 to 25 An oracle concerning Egypt. Behold, the Lord is riding on a swift cloud and comes to Egypt and the idols of Egypt will tremble at his presence, and the heart of the Egyptians will melt within them. And I will stir up Egyptians against Egyptians, and they will fight, each against another, and each against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom, and the spirit of the Egyptians within them will be emptied out, and I will confound their counsel. And they will inquire of the idols and the sorcerers and the mediums and the necromancers. And I will give over the Egyptians into the hand of a hard master and a fierce king will rule over them, declares the Lord God of hosts. And the waters of the sea will be dried up and the river will be dry and parched. Song of Solomon 2 verse 15 Catch the foxes for us, the little foxes that spoil the vineyards, for our vineyards are in blossom. Proverbs 17 verse 13 If anyone returns evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. Proverbs 7 verse 3 Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. Proverbs 7 verse 2 Keep my commandments and live. Keep my teaching as the apple of your eye. Nehemiah 1 verse 6 Let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer of your servant that I now pray before you day and night for the people of Israel your servants, confessing the sins of the people of Israel, which we have sinned against you. Even I and my father's house have sinned. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore choose life, that you and your offspring may live. Deuteronomy 28 verse 21 The Lord will make the pestilence stick to you until he has consumed you off the land that you are entering to take possession of it. Deuteronomy 27 verse 17 Cursed be anyone who moves his neighbor's landmark. And all the people shall say, Amen. Numbers 23 11-13 And Balak said to Balaam, What have you done to me? I took you to curse my enemies, and behold, you have done nothing but bless them. And he answered and said, Must I not take care to speak what the Lord puts in my mouth? And Balak said to him, Please come with me to another place from which you may see them. You shall see only a fraction of them and shall not see them all. Then curse them for me from there. Numbers 23 colon 1 And Balaam said to Balak, Build for me here seven altars, and prepare for me here seven bulls and seven rams. Numbers 22 colon 6 Come now, curse this people for me, since they are too mighty for me. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them from the land. For I know that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. 
Numbers 21 colon 1 35. When the Canaanite, the king of Arad, who lived in the Negev, heard that Israel was coming by the way of Atharim, he fought against Israel and took some of them captive. And Israel vowed a vow to the Lord and said, If you will indeed give this people into my hand, then I will devote their cities to destruction. And the Lord heeded the voice of Israel and gave over the Canaanites, and they devoted them and their cities to destruction. So the name of the place was called Hormah. From Mount Hor they set out by the way to the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. And the people became impatient on the way. And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we loathe this worthless food. Leviticus 20 verses 10 to 16 If a man commits adultery with the wife of his neighbor, both the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. If a man lies with his father's wife, he has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. If a man lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have committed perversion. Their blood is upon them. If a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. If a man takes a woman and her mother also, it is depravity. He and they shall be burned with fire, that there may be no depravity among you. Exodus 34 verses 5 to 8 The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. But who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children, to the third and the fourth generation? And Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. Exodus 20 verse 5 You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me. Genesis 27 verse 29 Let people serve you, and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers, and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Curse be everyone who curses you, and blessed be everyone who blesses you. Genesis 27 verses 11 to 13. But Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, my brother Esau is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. Perhaps my father will feel me, and I shall seem to be mocking him and bring a curse upon myself and not a blessing. His mother said to him, Let your curse be on me, my son. Only obey my voice and go, bring them to me. Acts 20 verse 35 
In all things I have shown you that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus. How he himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Luke 6 verse 38 Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Proverbs 11 verses 24 to 25. One gives freely, yet grows all the richer. Another withholds what he should give and only suffers want. Whoever brings blessing will be enriched, and one who waters will himself be watered. Proverbs 19 verse 17 Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his deed. Luke 21 verses 1 to 4 Jesus looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the offering box, and he saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. And he said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them, for they all contributed out of their abundance but she out of her poverty put in all she had to live on. Matthew 6 verse 21 For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 Each one must give as he is decided in his heart not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6 The point is this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. 1 Timothy 6 verses 17 to 19 As for the rich in this present age, charge them not to be haughty, nor to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but on God, who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share thus storing up treasure for themselves as a good foundation for the future, so that they may take hold of that which is truly life. Matthew 10 verse 42 And whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water, because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. 1 John 3 verse 17 But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Proverbs 22 verse 9 Whoever has a bountiful, I will be blessed, for he shares his bread with the poor. Psalm 112 verse 5 It is well with the man who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. Proverbs 21 verse 13 Whoever closes his ear to the cry of the poor will himself call out and not be answered. Proverbs 11 verse 25 Whoever brings blessing will be enriched, and one who waters will himself be watered. 
2 Corinthians 9 verse 11. You will be enriched in every way to be generous in every way, which through us will produce thanksgiving to God. Matthew 6 verses 1 to 4. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. 2 Corinthians 9 verses 5-7 to So I thought it necessary to urge the brothers to go on ahead to you and arrange in advance for the gift you have promised, so that it may be ready as a willing gift, not as an exaction. The point is this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he is decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Deuteronomy 15 verses 7 to 8 If among you one of your brothers should become poor in any of your towns within your land that the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not harden your heart or shut your hand against your poor brother. But you shall open your hand to him and lend him sufficient for his need, whatever it may be. Luke 12 verse 33 Sell your possessions and give to the needy. Provide yourselves with money bags that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. 1 Timothy 6 verses 18 to 19 They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share, thus storing up treasure for themselves as a good foundation for the future, so that they may take hold of that which is Holy life. Mark 12 verses 41 to 44. And he sat down opposite the treasury and watched the people putting money into the offering box. Many rich people put in large sums. And a poor widow came and put in two small copper coins, which make a penny. And he called his disciples to him and said to them, Truly, I say to you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the offering box. For they all contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. Hebrews 13 verse 16 Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 12 For if the readiness is there, it is acceptable according to what a person has, not according to what he does not have. Luke 6 verse 30 Give to everyone who begs from you, and from one who takes away your goods do not demand them back. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 10 
He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Proverbs 28 verse 27 Whoever gives to the poor will not want, but he who hides his eyes will get many a curse. Matthew 25 verses 34 to 40 Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? Galatians 6 verse 2 Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Luke 11 verse 13 If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Proverbs 11 verse 24 One gives freely, yet grows all the richer. Another withholds what he should give, and only suffers want. Acts 2 verse 45 And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all as any had need. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8 And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. Matthew 6 verses 19 to 21 Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Psalm 41 verses 1 to 3 To the choir master, a psalm of David. Blessed is the one who considers the poor. In the day of trouble the Lord delivers him. The Lord protects him and keeps him alive. He is called blessed in the land. You do not give him up to the will of his enemies. The Lord sustains him on his sickbed. In his illness you restore him to full health. Malachi 3 verse 10 Bring the full tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house and thereby put me to the test, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need. 
1 John 3 verses 16 to 18. By this we know, love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. 1 Timothy 6 verse 17 As for the rich in this present age, charge them not to be haughty, nor to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but on God, who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. Luke 6 verses 37 to 38 Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Isaiah 32, verse 8. But he who is noble plans noble things, and on noble things he stands. 2 Corinthians 8, verse 7. But as you excel in everything in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in all earnestness, and in our love for you see that you excel in this act of grace also. Isaiah 40 verse 29 He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might he increases strength. Psalm 37 verse 26 he is ever lending generously, and his children become a blessing. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18 You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your fathers, as it is this day. 2 Corinthians 8 verses 1 to 5 We want you to know, brothers, about the grace of God that has been given among the churches of Macedonia. For in a severe test of affliction, their abundance of joy and their extreme poverty have overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. For they gave according to their means, as I can testify, and beyond their means, of their own accord, begging us earnestly for the favor of taking part in the relief of the saints, and this, not as we expected. But they gave themselves first to the Lord, and then by the will of God to us. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 13 by their approval of this service, they will glorify God because of your submission that comes from your confession of the gospel of Christ and the generosity of your contribution for them and for all others. Psalm 119 verse 36 Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to selfish gain. Deuteronomy 15 verse 10 You shall give to him freely, and your heart shall not be grudging when you give to him, because for this the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in all that you undertake. 2 Corinthians 9 verses 6 to 8 The point is this, Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. 
Each one must give as he is decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. Psalm 112 verse 9 He has distributed freely. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn is exalted in honor. Matthew 25 verse 40 And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. First Chronicles 29 verse 14 But who am I, and what is my people, that we should be able thus to offer willingly? For all things come from you, and of your own have we given you. First Corinthians 9 verse 7 who serves as a soldier at his own expense? Who plants a vineyard without eating any of its fruit? Or who tends a flock without getting some of the milk? Matthew 6 verse 33 But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 5 So I thought it necessary to urge the brothers to go on ahead to you and arrange in advance for the gift you have promised, so that it may be ready as a willing gift, not as an exaction. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 6 Or is it only Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from working for a living? 1 Corinthians 9 colon 1 dash 11 colon 34 Am I not free? Am I not an apostle? Have I not seen Jesus our Lord? Are not you my workmanship in the Lord? If to others I am not an apostle, at least I am to you. For you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. This is my defense to those who would examine me. Do we not have the right to eat and drink? Do we not have the right to take along a believing wife, as do the other apostles and the brothers of the Lord and Cephas? Romans 12 verse 13 Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Proverbs 11, 1 25, 28. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless keeps his way straight, but the wicked falls by his own wickedness. Mark 12 verse 41 And he sat down opposite the treasury and watched the people putting money into the offering box. Many rich people put in large sums. James 2 verses 15 to 16 If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, 
and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body. What good is that? 1 Timothy 6 verse 9 But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation, into a snare, into many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. Philippians 4 verse 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. 1 Corinthians 9 colon 1 dash 10 colon 33 Am I not free? Am I not an apostle? Have I not seen Jesus our Lord? Are not you my workmanship in the Lord? If to others I am not an apostle, at least I am to you. For you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. This is my defense to those who would examine me. Do we not have the right to eat and drink? Do we not have the right to take along a believing wife, as do the other apostles and the brothers of the Lord and Cephas? 1 Corinthians 8,1-12,31 Now concerning food offered to idols, we know that all of us possess knowledge. This knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. If anyone imagines that he knows something, he does not yet know as he ought to know. But if anyone loves God, he is known by God. Therefore, as to the eating of food offered to idols, we know that an idol has no real existence, and that there is no God but one. For although there may be so-called gods in heaven or on earth as indeed, there are many gods and many lords. Matthew 5 verse 42 Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. Psalm 112, 1-115,18 Praise the Lord! Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. His offspring will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Light dawns in the darkness for the upright. He is gracious, merciful, and righteous. It is well with the man who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. 2 Corinthians 8 verses 12 to 15 For if the readiness is there, it is acceptable according to what a person has, not according to what he does not have. For I do not mean that others should be eased and you burdened, but that as a matter of fairness your abundance at the present time should supply their need, so that their abundance may supply your need, that there may be fairness. As it is written, Whoever gathered much had nothing left over, and whoever gathered little had no lack. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9 For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you by his poverty might become rich. Proverbs 14 verse 21 Whoever despises his neighbor is a sinner, but blessed is he who is generous to the poor. Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, 
But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Acts 20 verses 33 to 35 I coveted no one's silver or gold or apparel. You yourselves know that these hands ministered to my necessities and to those who were with me. In all things I have shown you that by working hard in this way we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts 4 verses 32 to 35 Now the full number of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one said that any of the things that belonged to him was his own, but they had everything in common. And with great power the apostles were giving their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as were owners of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold and laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. Luke 3 verses 10 to 11 And the crowds asked him, What then shall we do? And he answered them, Whoever has two tunics is to share with him who has none, and whoever has food is to do likewise. Matthew 25 verse 21 His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. James 1 verse 27 Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained from the world. 2 Corinthians 8 verses 2 to 3 For in a severe test of affliction, their abundance of joy and their extreme poverty have overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. For they gave according to their means, as I can testify, and beyond their means of their own accord. Acts 4 verses 34 to 37 There was not a needy person among them, for as many as were owners of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold and laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. Thus Joseph, who was also called by the apostles Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, a Levite, a native of Cyprus, sold a field that belonged to him and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Leviticus 25 verses 35 to 37 If your brother becomes poor and cannot maintain himself with you, you shall support him as though he were a stranger and a sojourner, and he shall live with you. Take no interest from him or profit, but fear your God, that your brother may live beside you. You shall not lend him your money at interest, nor give him your food for profit. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 2 for in a severe test of affliction, their abundance of joy and their extreme poverty have overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. Matthew 19 verse 21 Jesus said to him, If you would be perfect, go, sell what you possess and give to the poor, 
and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. Proverbs 3 verses 9 to 10. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will be bursting with wine. Leviticus 19 verses 9 to 10. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap your field right up to its edge, neither shall you gather the gleanings after your harvest. And you shall not strip your vineyard bare, neither shall you gather the fallen grapes of your vineyard. You shall leave them for the poor and for the sojourner. I am the Lord your God. 2 Corinthians 9 verses 1 to 15 Now it is superfluous for me to write to you about the ministry for the saints, for I know your readiness, of which I boast about you to the people of Macedonia, saying that Achaia has been ready since last year, and your zeal has stirred up most of them. But I am sending the brothers so that our boasting about you may not prove empty in this matter, so that you may be ready, as I said you would be. Otherwise, if some Macedonians come with me and find that you are not ready, you would be humiliated to say nothing of you for being so confident. So I thought it necessary to urge the brothers to go on ahead to you and arrange in advance for the gift you have promised, so that it may be ready as a willing gift, not as an exaction. Romans 12 verses 6 to 8 Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them, if prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service, in our serving, the one who teaches, in his teaching, the one who exhorts, in his exhortation, the one who contributes, in generosity, the one who leads, with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy, with cheerfulness. Matthew 7 verse 12 So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Exodus 35 verse 22 So they came, both men and women. All who were of a willing heart brought brooches and earrings and signet rings and armlets all sorts of gold objects, every man dedicating an offering of gold to the Lord. Hebrews 13 verse 2 Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Acts 2 verses 44 to 45 And all who believed were together and had all things in common. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all as any had need. Luke 16 verses 19 to 31 there was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate was laid a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, even the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried, and in Hades, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. 
Luke 10 verses 30 to 37. Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers, who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. Ephesians 1 verse 3 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Galatians 6 verse 6 Let the one who is taught the word share all good things with the one who teaches. Luke 12 verses 33 to 34 Sell your possessions and give to the needy. Provide yourselves with money bags that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Psalm 50 verse 10 For every beast of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. Deuteronomy 16 verse 17 Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord your God that he has given you. Leviticus 27 verse 30 Every tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the trees, is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. James 5 verses 1 to 20 Come now, you rich, weep and howl for the miseries that are coming upon you. Your riches have rotted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded and their corrosion will be evidence against you and will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid up treasure in the last days. Behold, the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, are crying out against you, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on the earth in luxury and in self-indulgence. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. 1 John 3 verses 1 to 24 See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared. But we know that when He appears we shall be like Him, because we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. Everyone who makes a practice of sinning also practices lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. James 1 verses 1 to 27 James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, 
free to know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Matthew 11 verses 1 to 30 When Jesus had finished instructing his twelve disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in their cities. Now when John heard in prison about the deeds of the Christ, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? And Jesus answered them, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. Lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have good news preached to them. Acts 4 verses 1 to 37 And as they were speaking to the people, the priests, and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, greatly annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. But many of those who had heard the word believed, and the number of the men came to about five thousand. On the next day their rulers and elders and scribes gathered together in Jerusalem. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 1 to 31 Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans you were led astray to mute idols, however you were led. Therefore I want you to understand that no one speaking in the Spirit of God ever says Jesus is accursed, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 24 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Bond servants, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, with a sincere heart as you would Christ. Psalm 103 verses 1 to 22 of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Matthew 17 verses 19 to 20 Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly I say to you, If you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. Hebrews 10 verses 1 to 39 For since the law has 
but a shadow of the good things to come instead of the true form of these realities, it can never, by the same sacrifices that are continually offered every year, make perfect those who draw near. Otherwise, would they not have ceased to be offered, since the worshippers, having once been cleansed, would no longer have any consciousness of sins? But in these sacrifices there is a reminder of sins every year, for it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Consequently, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body have you prepared for me. 2 Thessalonians 1 verses 1 to 12 Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought always to give thanks to God for you, brothers, as is right, because your faith is growing abundantly and the love of every one of you for one another is increasing. Therefore we ourselves boast about you in the churches of God for your steadfastness and faith in all your persecutions and in the afflictions that you are enduring. This is evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you are also suffering. 2 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 17 But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness, but denying its power. Avoid such people. Isaiah 40 verses 28 to 31 Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hebrews 10 verses 19 to 23. Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. James 1 verses 1 to 27 James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion. Greetings. Count it all joy, my brothers, 
when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Colossians 1 verses 1 to 29 Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the gospel. Genesis 1 verses 1 to 31. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. 1 Peter 2 verses 9 to 11 But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh which wage war against your soul. Philippians 3 verses 7 to 9 But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 16 to 18 So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Luke 1 verses 1 to 4 Inasmuch as many have undertaken to compile a narrative of the things that have been accomplished among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word have delivered them to us, it seemed good to me also, having followed all things closely for some time past, to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, that you may have certainty concerning the things you have been taught. 
2 Kings 16 verses 3 to 7. But he walked in the way of the kings of Israel. He even burned his son as an offering, according to the despicable practices of the nations whom the Lord drove out before the people of Israel. And he sacrificed and made offerings on the high places and on the hills and under every green tree. Then Rezin king of Syria and Pekah the son of Remaliah, king of Israel, came up to wage war on Jerusalem, and they besieged Ahaz, but could not conquer him. At that time Rezin the king of Syria recovered Elath for Syria and drove the men of Judah from Elath, and the Edomites came to Elath, where they dwell to this day. So Ahaz sent messengers to tiglath Pileser, king of Assyria, saying, I am your servant and your son. Come up and rescue me from the hand of the king of Syria and from the hand of the king of Israel, who are attacking me. Isaiah 1 verses 1 to 31 The vision of Isaiah the son of Amos which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Isaiah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. Children have I reared and brought up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner, and the donkey its master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people do not understand. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, offspring of evildoers, children who deal corruptly. They have forsaken the Lord. They have despised the Holy One of Israel. They are utterly estranged. Why will you still be struck down? Why will you continue to rebel? The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Revelation 14 verses 1 to 20 Then I looked, and behold, on Mount Zion stood the Lamb, and with him 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven like the roar of many waters and like the sound of loud thunder. The voice I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps, and they were singing a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and before the elders. No one could learn that song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. It is these who have not defiled themselves with women, for they are virgins. It is these who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These have been redeemed from mankind as first fruits for God and the Lamb, and in their mouth no lie was found, for they are blameless. Isaiah 43 verses 1 to 7 But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my eyes and honored, and I love you. I give men in return for you, peoples in exchange for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, 
and from the west I will gather you. Revelation 7 verses 1 to 17 After this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth, that no wind might blow on earth or sea or against any tree. Then I saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun with the seal of the living God. And he called with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm earth and sea, saying, Do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees, until we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of the sealed, one hundred and forty-four thousand sealed from every tribe of the sons of Israel. Twelve thousand from the tribe of Judah were sealed. Twelve thousand from the tribe of Reuben. Twelve thousand from the tribe of Gad. Revelation 13 verses 1 to 18 And I saw a beast rising out of the sea, with ten horns and seven heads, with ten diadems on its horns and blasphemous names on its heads. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. And to it the dragon gave his power and his throne and great authority. One of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed, and the whole earth marveled as they followed the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, for he had given his authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who can fight against it? And the beast was given a mouth uttering haughty and blasphemous words, and it was allowed to exercise authority for forty-two months. Psalm 18 verses 1 to 6 To the choir master, A psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who addressed the words of this song to the Lord on the day when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death encompassed me. The torrents of destruction assailed me. The cords of Sheol entangled me. The snares of death confronted me. Revelation 9 verses 1 to 21. And the fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star fallen from heaven to earth, and he was given the key to the shaft of the bottomless pit. He opened the shaft of the bottomless pit, and from the shaft rose smoke like the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened with the smoke from the shaft. Then from the smoke came locusts on the earth, and they were given power like the power of scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any green plant or any tree, but only those people who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were allowed to torment them for five months, but not to kill them, and their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it stings someone. John 3 verses 1 to 36 Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. 
This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 7 To the choir master of the sons of Korah, according to Alamah, a song. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. Selah, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. Isaiah 40 verses 28 to 31 Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might he increases strength. Even youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Psalm 1 verses 1 to 6 Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Romans 1 verses 1 to 32 Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the Son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 6 A Psalm of David The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. 
your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Colossians 1 verses 1 to 29. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the gospel, 